Welcome everyone to Let's Get On With Live. This evening I'm going to be playing Might and Magic 6, The Mandate of Heaven. Developed by New World Computing, released in 1998. Last time I played this game, seriously, at latest, would be 2004. That is a generous statement there. It was probably earlier than that. But I'm willing to extend some extra time there. 04. Now, I still have some knowledge about the video game. Certainly not the last time I've seen the game played. I've kept my eye on, like, various runs of it done over the years. I know some tech. But I prefer Might and Magic 7, so that's what I've been playing of late. But here we are with this. I talk about this a lot. Uh, this video game while playing Might and Magic 7. There's comparisons to be made, and this video game does have strong points over 7. There we go. Here's some credits. I could actually let the credits flip through. Yes, I know the ex explanation text is still up there obscuring your credits. It's okay. People who come in need to be informed about what's happening here. So, this video game uh, is the first of a trio uh, released within a short span of each other. Six, seven, and eight. Uh, six ends up being the bridge between the older style Might and Magic games and then the, these 3D engine ones. Uh, six is also the one that has the most detail put into it. There is a lot in this video game, from the dialogue you can have with various characters to all of the dungeons nestled away. There's so much in Might Magic 6, and that's kind of, like, there is an emptiness you can see in comparing 6 to 7, and there's definitely an emptiness in what little I've experienced of 8, uh, and then seen, not played myself, that you can see in like an 8 compared to the others. There is also, uh, like, this very much is like a dungeon diving video game. Um, it also features puzzle elements, which feature in dungeon diving, which is mostly missing from 7. Uh, this game also features openness in... Well, in power sculpting your party, uh, which they really limited in Might and Magic 7. Might and Magic 6 is like, ah, uh, here's a bunch of skills. If your character can learn it, they can kick ass at it. That's that. And it results in a lot of ass kicking. Alchemy? That's not a skill. If you know how to make a potion, you can craft it. Isn't that a treat? I'd also like to stress the elements of the title, which say, no backseating or spoilers. You're like, that's not in the edit stream info. It's right there in front of you on the screen. I am going to wait steadfast to that. It's also in the tags of this channel and in the explain text. If, uh, especially the spoilers, if that comes through, uh, you're going to be removed. Because you clearly are not going to be able to participate effectively in the action. Understandably, as a channel that's uh, played a bit of Might and Magic 7, we've seen some Might and Magic 7 stuff. What I'm going to do now is open up a couple of instruction manuals. The first I want to show off, once I get that rendered on your screen, let me close my Dungeon Dragons tabs will be the Might and Magic 7 manual, which I've got on hand, but it's easier to show off in a PDF format. Show. Window. Make source visible. Ta-da! So, the Might and Magic 6 and 7 manuals are about the same length. In the case of this one, it's mostly serious stuff. You've got your welcoming page. And you've got entries from Archibald and his journey from uh, Inroth to Arathia. 
And then really it's just serious stuff like, here's how we handle our skills. Never mind that we made changes to these and these aren't like perfectly correct. Here's how we handle class, spell, and hit points. Your starting attributes depending on your race. They, they spend a lot of time detailing uh, the skill stuff, and they spend time detailing spell stuff. And that's your fucking instruction manual. My Magic 6 has a lot more of that humor and wit that's prevalent in the older games. Let me shuffle the tab on over to Might and Magic 6. There we go, that should work. Ta-da! My Magic 6 user manual. We've got Clavis Verge here, discouraging the unworthy. Uh, your world is not your own. At best, it's a window on a reality of might and magic in Roth. A new world to you, perhaps, but a land of long tradition. Now facing a harrowing danger. If it collapses beneath the horrors. Now threatening overrun it, your world will most assuredly be destroyed. Shattered all the way down to its foundations. Survival of both worlds, your own and in Roth, depends on your actions. No pressure, though. You have the tools before you. You call them by strange names. Computer and keyboard. They're no different than the crystals and cast runes I've worked with for centuries. Also got a bit about how King Roland is missing. Features in Heroes of Might and Magic 2. I, uh, that was my first exposure to New World Computing video games. Heroes of Might and Magic 2. Uh, I then, uh, we got this video game. Uh, it was burned. A limited edition. How limited is it really? One through six. Uh, my dad uh, had an employee who did, like, computer stuff at work, and he brought my brother and I home, like, a list of, like, video games that could be burned, and one of them was this. I'm like, I'm interested. I recognize that. And that was my exposure to Might and Magic. Uh, anyway, a Temple of Ba is rising up. It's a doomsday cult. King Roland is missing. Queen Catherine is away in Arathia, attending to the funeral of her father. Prince Nikolai has a regent. Council of no Noblemen are currently running in Roth. And, uh, you know... You fail or worlds die. That's probably fine. Good stuff. We've also got a description of what the Mandate of Heaven is. What is the Mandate of Heaven? What is it the Temple of Ba is truly destroying? Also reference to the Oracle. The Oracle understands this better than anyone. For centuries, she has been the link that carries the gods' mandate. Find her, and she may help you stop the destruction of precious order and repair the damage already done. Fail, and learn to love chaos. No pressure! No pressure. Then we have uh, letters here. These letters are the last link we have to the king. My beloved Catherine, it's my sincere hope that this letter will lay to rest the fears you have expressed for my safety and that of my men must understand this trip could not be avoided. Shit's going down. I got a bunch of experienced troops with me. All of them are veterans from how I defeated my brother. I'm popular. Nothing's in our way. We're kicking ass. We've only heard rumors about these devils. Not seen any. We've seen Riptire, though. Appreciate it. You know, Lord Kilborn is probably... It's, it's perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Forever yours. The king has a good heart, but he would be well advised to make room for a little suspicion. Rowan basically used all of his uh, seeing bad shit happen uh, with his brother, the Succession War. So, his expedition continues to be on the, the hunt for the mystery in exploring uh, Kilburn's death. A little bit of odd spacing here in the instruction manual. I can't remember whether that is in the... Uh, the Authentic Search Manual. I don't have an authentic copy of it on hand. Burned copies. Another letter. Never underestimate the combination of devils and army in one sentence. So, eventful stuff. An army of devils has been spotted. We need to reach Edinburgh before it can be sacked. The arrival is but hours ahead of our enemy. Crazy shit happened. We pulled some... Incredible hijinks, uh, many tales of valor and bravery. Chief Sorcerer was rescued. Many were not so lucky, though. 83 men fell versus 272 devils. 
They fled as one. On some sort of unseen signal, uh, Roland survived that battle unscathed. Yes, I will send another letter if we have caught up to the demonic army in Spanish that you and Nikolai should hear from me in about a week. Confidence is a good thing. Overconfidence could be an epitaph. Uh, well, we went chasing after the monsters. The devils seemed damn near tireless, and we went force marching after them. That seemed like a great idea. We had to catch them before they could, you know... Ah, we're fine. We kicked ass. We took a gamble. We dunked on those fools. Vicious ambush. My brother would have been envious. Never, didn't even suffer a single loss. Then we had a premature celebration. Army of devils numbering in the thousands, traveling out of the Badlands in our direction. And now we're on the run! Pursuers are faster than us and do not tire as easily. Perhaps, you know, Roland was led. Oh well, I fear there's a traitor amongst us, somehow signaling the enemy our every move. I want you to give this letter to hum Wilbur Humphrey. He used to organize an army large enough to put these devils down and call upon the King of the Dwarves. He also owes me a favor since I came to his aid during the succession wars against Archibald. And we will flee least. East. My beloved, we reach Castle Creek Spire a day ahead of the enemy. This is the last message you will receive from me until we are liberated by the army you and Humphrey are preparing, which I hope you are preparing. <laughs> We're counting on resupply. Uh, we've spent some time exploring the castle, but we are damn near fucked. But thankfully, we have Sulman, the master of air. Devils seem to operate better in cold water. Now, the siege will give Soulman plenty of time to look into the cause. Perhaps a traitor that is surely amongst our race is also the cause of the storms. Fear of such a traitor has me sleeping poorly at night, presuming I could ever sleep well in these circumstances. What would a man have to gain from such treachery? A high post in the devil hierarchy? I would like to see that. Wealth? Do devils even have wealth? What could it be? If there is such a traitor, I shall catch him and have him publicly strung up and tortured. Roland, here advocating torture. To think that he is probably hiding under my very nose makes me sick unto death. There is nothing worse than a traitor. Even Archibald would agree. Well, no use complaining. He will show himself soon enough, I am sure. I must go now and finish preparations for the siege. Know that if I never see you again, I love you, and I love Nikolai. If you love me half as much, move as fast as you can to send reinforcements to our rescue. Pray for us, roll an iron fist. Yes, if I should fail to return, tell Nikolai that the third eye is in the well. He'll understand when the time is right. This is his birthright. He will need it if he's ever to be king. King Roland places much faith in his son. Hmm, perhaps the prince can be an ally in your own quest. There are two types of magicians. The quick and the rotting, moldering, worm-flavored food for spawns of evil. So we've got an introduction to mouse and keyboard controls. And it continues in our same playful, like, aspect seen in the entirety of the manual. Rules of Binaria. We've got our control function keyboard controls. Perform many tasks to sort of walk through how you control various elements in the game. Our mouse control. Again, instead of spending time talking about our classes and their differences and skills and our spells, let's have fun. We're a third of the way through the manual already. Respect your enemies, save your contempt for after they are lying in parts across the battlefield. Choose your allies carefully. Your continued existence depends on each other. Intro to character creation. Your gift is the ability to reach from your world and affect the fate of Inroth and beyond. <laughs> All your wisdom and skills be put to the test in guiding a team of adventurers drawn from the best this land has to offer. Best. Character creation info, consider inviting a cleric to join your party. Nothing worse with having a prayer on your side. Gives a little bit of blurbs into uh, what each class does. Knights, clerics, sorcerers, paladins, archers, and druids. This is in your world. Advantage can be gained in one of two ways, working at it or bribery. <laughs> Development points are the currency that allows a character to gain access to ever greater talents. Delightful. In my days of adventuring in the past, I envy you your quest. Talks a bit about our weapons. Talks a bit about the armor types. A bit about the magics and the miscellaneous skills. Including diplomacy. It alters your reputation in your favor. 
There are some townsfolk that will not talk to you unless you have sufficient reputation. Or, you know, threaten to beat their asses or something. Got our character screen. As your main window in Enroth, you'll be seeing this view a lot. Never forget, though, windows look both. Okay, windows look both. Character info screen. Inventory screen. Live life to the to its fullest. Your characters learn by doing. Explore and experiment. Talk about fame and reputation. From my obscured glimpses of your reality, your world is a materialistic one. Again, the Mind Magic 7 manual. <laughs> For a game that came out the year after. Much more serious. On occasion, your adventures can reward your party with a weapon or other item that can't be readily identified. Like hearts and bones, objects in use by your party can be broken. Talks about various things that you'll find in the towns. Discusses followers and trainers. The best defense is, frankly, to run away. Talking about combat. And resting and recovering. And experience. Woo! Balance your forces. As you might suspect, might and magic are the key to success. Let's be real here. It's magic. And then it uh, does a little bit about spells. I forgot this manual actually did have little blurbs about spells. Although that's the uh, instruction manual trying to sell the, the spells to you and not so much how effective they are. In the video game. Fire, air, water, earth. That's ERF. Spirit. Mind. Which includes, uh, telekinesis? Yes, telekinesis. In mind instead of earth. My magic seven. And then body. We also have light spells. Create food. Golden touch converts a single item in your inventory into gold. We have, uh, sun ray. Which can be cast... Outside only and during the day. And Divine Intervention, which isn't lost, but can only be cast during the rising or setting of the sun. Which, you know, is a choice. And our dark spells. We can learn both light and dark. Reanimate Toxic. Cloud Mass Curse. Shrap Metal. Tricking Ray. Armageddon there. Dragon Breath is very potent. Dark Containment. What could it be? Not a first quest walkthrough. I won't be there to hold your hand. At best, the advice here is schooling. Every man wants to know the future until he sees what cruel destiny the fates have in store. Some go mad with fear. Others wither and die as they are deprived the thrill of surprise. I have looked ahead at what you can expect to face. Beware the heavy price of knowing too much. And so the manual goes into uh, starting outside New Sorbergal. Uh, turning in a letter at the Lonely Night Tavern. You know, it's blood money. And uh, then visiting the town hall. Look at this little adorable map of New Sorbergal, by the way. And then uh, getting a quest from the town hall to venture into Goblin Watch, the abandoned keep southwest of town, and clearing that. And that's what the game recommends be the first quest. What lies beyond the first horizon, that first horizon no man can say. It's the very shortest of looks ahead and your adventure. A little bit of troubleshooting and a page for notes. Back when instruction manuals wanted to give you, like, some room and space to doodle. Okay. That's that. Wanted to show that off, though, uh, not just for the letters which you end up having with you, even though they're not, like, in your inventory. A one is. You end up turning it as a quest item. It's assumed that you've uh, consumed that content. And just the the different tone between the Might and Magic 7 manual and the Might and Magic 6 manual. Alright. Thanks, Trey. Glad you could be here for me in my time of need. Let's go ahead and disappear this beginning shortly now. Its services are no longer required. Shuffle around a few other windows. New. 
Having cheated death during the night of shooting stars, you find yourself oh. as far... One more moment. I need to launch the game again to show off the intro. That's not an intro. Let's try that again. Three DO. You guys do have double chat. You're right. I didn't make that disappear whenever I put on that, uh, when I made this in Big End. Let's try that intro one more time. I'm just thinking about that. Any other sources I forgot to make disappear? Let's let's take a look here. Don't you don't you freeze there. They came from the depths of the void, an ancient enemy of an ancient people. No one knows why they hate us so, or why they have made war upon us. Some say the struggle against their evil is the mandate of heaven. Though their origins and purpose are shrouded in mystery, their plan is simple. They travel, they land, and then they conquer. Now, they are here on our world to do to us what they have done to so many others. And they will do it, unless someone stops them. As seen here, adventurers, devils, dragon. Dragons on their side. Look, I see a way out. to learn before you can deal with the likes of those monsters. Since the arrival of the devils, foul creatures and evil spirits have appeared throughout the land. These signs and omens can have but one meaning. That your destiny is part of the Mandate of Heaven. Intro fucking amped me up, I'm ready to go! Now let's click on this. Having cheated death during the night of shooting stars, you find yourself as far from your village of Sweetwater as old Falagar's magic could take you. Three years have passed while Falagar imparted what knowledge he could to train you in your chosen professions. But the time came at last when he could teach you no more, and you have ventured into the world to seek your fame and fortune. Now, a world away from your lost home, you have stumbled across evidence of a terrible conspiracy involving a new religious cult. Five letters from King Roland to his wife Catherine and a letter from the King of the Devils to a wicked traitor named Sulman have turned up in an abandoned goblin camp. Your fate seems inextricably bound to these letters and that awful night, and your role in the events to come may be larger than anyone could imagine. The tools you have are but a small sum of gold, your wits, and a lot of potential. The roads ahead are infinite, and all the choices are yours to make. So choose wisely. Good luck. That scroll looked better when uh, the resolution wasn't as large. Right, so uh, let's try that again. Jarek, I know you've mentioned multiple times about the whole fucking space lasers, and you really needed like an answer about that really important and surely a serious answer about that may exist at this point that Grimoth would like to remind the viewers 
to put text into the field responsibly. Thanks. There's one other thing I want to show off while I'm thinking about it, and that's a map of Inroth. Let me pull that map open. How would you do that to me? There we go. So new Sorpagal down here in the bottom right. We've got Iron Fist. This is a, a rougher quality than the uh, what you'd end up getting in the box with you. Mire of the Dam, Darkmoor Dragon Sand, Sweet Water, Kriegspire, Blackshire, Blackshire, Freehaven, Silver Cove, Misty Islands, the Eel Infested Water, Stromgard, White Camp. Okay. I think that's it with my PDFs now. We can put those aside. <laughs> All right. Party creation. We have six classes. Knight, Cleric, Sorcerer, Paladin, Archer, Druid. If a class can learn a skill, it can, it can kick ass with that skill. Uh, knights cannot learn magic skills at all. Uh, other classes are, to varying degrees, hampered on the um, the gear they can use. Uh, Paladins, Archers, and Druids can't learn light or dark magic. Uh, cleric and Sorcerers can uh, get self full self magic, light and dark, full elemental magic, light and dark. Default party recommended. It's pretty potent. Allows you to experiment with elemental and self magic. Uh, for a power gaming sort of thing, you'd probably do three or four sorcerers for, like, a cleric in, given how much ass elemental magic kicks uh, in the beginning of the game, and then the potency of light and dark magic. Uh, enemies have, like, stronger resistances and immunities in this game than they do in Seven of Memory Serves, but there's a spell for something, even if it's just like Earth's Rock Blast that deals physical damage. I want to show off a slew of different things. So instead of a Paladin, we're going to go with a Knight. A Knight class the Workhorse Fighting Class, the largest selection of weapons and armor. Uh, this Knight is also going to be handling miscellaneous skills for us. Whether it's like repairing or disarming, just someone here. Knights may never learn spells, nor may they ever learn or need the meditation skill. Also want to have someone who's got a bunch of hit points to carry uh, weaklings to town. Now they bring in a sorcerer, and we're going to bring a cleric along as well to show off the different types of magic. Both elemental as well as self. Self magic is considerably weaker in this game. Uh, my 18-year-old memory tells me than um, it is in Might and Magic 7. As for this sort of thing here, we don't really need, like, a utility person because that's not not what Might and Magic 6 needs compared to, say, the class system in uh, Might and Magic 7. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a computer speed thing there, baby. Look at the clouds and look at the flames. So, like, Archer, you might think, cool, handles, like, some esoteric stuff, but they're better at the bow than anyone else. Uh, druids... They can learn all self and elemental magics, just no um, light or dark. Uh, it'd be a choice between a paladin and an archer for me, which is a choice between having like a backup healer with self magic or a backup character who can wield elemental magic. And as far as I'm concerned, I'd rather have an archer than a paladin. Grimace says, wondering whether that's actually true. As he passes judgment over the over the archer class, reflects on Paladin. AACS or KPCS? Hmm. We'll hold that thought. We'll give that some other thought. Now we have some character models to choose from. They're all humans. You want to win? Pick me. Come on, choose me. Choose me. Hey, you can count on me. You got to pick me. You ready? Let's go. I'm ready. Pick me. Choose me. Choose me. How about me? I'm ready. Choose me or suffer. <laughs> This guy is universally acclaimed as the best fucking dude in Might Magic 6. You wanna win? 
Pick. Choose me or suffer. You want choose me or suffer? I felt this way when I was a kid. How could anyone not choose him? You wanna win? I'm the one you want. You wanna win? I'm the one you want. Choose me or suffer. You wanna win? Pick me. We can I'm even have four of him. You want ready? Pick. Choose me or suffer. <laughs> you gotta pay. I'm ready? Pick me. I'm the one you want. Note that we can't change voice, uh, voices for these characters either. They are bound without like editing game files. You wanna win? Pick me. I like this guy too. Uh, having a one-eyed archer may basically seal the deal for me here. Come on, choose me. I'll be fit for your party. Hey, you can count on me. You gotta pick me. Pick me. I'm ready. Pick me. I'll rock with this guy too. He's like our default like sorcerer like pick avatar. Me. I'm pick I'm pick me. I think we'll go with him. He's fine. And just based on sheer look alone, I mean this is typecasting it, but he can't be a paladin. Those are the rules. He's gotta be an archer. Another cleric. Pick, come on. I'll be hey, you got you ready? Let's help you need. It's me you want. Are you ready? <laughs> Choose me. How about me? Take me with you. Choose me or suffer. I'm ready. Choose me. Choose me. Choose me. I'm the one. Choose me. Gotta go ahead and pick her there. I'm have cho cho I'm ready. Choose me. Choose me. How about me? I'm ready. Choose me. Take me with Choose me. Cho choose me. Kinda of blinded looking at this avatar. That uh uh, choose me. Uh, choose me. Ch How about me? Uh, it's me you want. Are you ready? Ch How about ch choose me. We'll go ahead and pick her all the same. All right. Well, excuse me. What was your name? All right. It's not too bad. As for character stats, you want to choose me or suffer? Choose me or suffer. Plus and minus keys should work just fine. They do. Delightful. Increase your personality. Increase your intellect. Accuracy and speed can go to heaven. Luck. Potentially goes to heaven as well. You can use intellect as you are an archer. So you're an elemental caster as well. You definitely don't need either of these stats. What you need is might, and we need endurance on you too. Do I want to do that? Hmm. We'll think about that. Let me look at a mechanics thing here. Just to make sure of the mechanics for this. Yeah, okay, it's 13 that you suffer no penalties on a category. And scaling stays reasonable until 21. I don't have enough points to take all of you kids up to that much in the way of endurance. But that's fine. You know, I don't really know whether I'm going to be able to achieve great accuracy the same way uh, that I did in Might and Magic 7. Hmm. Maybe not have that be so negative. You don't matter, because you're not going to be attacking with normal attacks. I want you to fling spells until you're out of spell power and then pray. Prayer is good. Go ahead and take that down then as a result. Let's see here, speed matters more for me than accuracy. Your accuracy may not matter so much either. <clears throat> Don't know, I haven't made up my mind. There are a number of uh, wells spread throughout the various towns that'll buff up your stats up to a certain point. I don't really recall the locations of all of those, so I, it's not something I can rely on to up everyone's stats. I'm not attempting to power game uh, this and break the game over my fucking knee. 
so much as I uh, have a party that I can be satisfied with that I can just meander through and explore these areas. Don't be skipping around too much. Feel pretty fine with this. I think I would like more endurance on these kids. But I can also not. That being that number messes with my head a little bit. That's fine. Okay, we'll walk with that. Alright, as for magic, we're going to go ahead and give you air and water. Definitely water. Emphasizing water, first and foremost. Followed by air. Do some fire after that. Then uh, earth joins us at the end. As for our magics, here we'll just go ahead and pick up Spirit and Mind. Archer here, we can grab Fire Magic, and... Do I want an Armor skill for you? What am I going to do with you? What if I just did Night Knight Cleric Sorcerer? Now, give me some elemental flexibility, without having a druid there. You probably want a melee weapon, though. Let's go and give you a sword for now. And you... Go ahead and get a bow. And... Do I want to give you a shield? Some perception, some disarmed trap... Bodybuilding for extra hit points? Sure, let's give you a shield. That'll slow down your attacking. Maybe it doesn't. Shield, you can't remove the uh, recovery penalty for uh, like leveling up an expert and master of it. Worth keeping in mind. I am going to want someone who does this arm. I don't know what levels I'm going to need for the various areas in the game. You're definitely going to be someone who disarms for me. But we can pick up that skill. Oh, fuck it. Take it now. Alright. That's the party. Look at this for a couple minutes more. Pause and contemplation. We'll leave this with the default name of Serena. We're going to call you Zhao Dun. Choose me or suffer. <laughs> What do you look like? Herbert? Look at how enthused he is to be here. He's just excited. Or call you G. As in suffer like G did. We gotta put a period there. There we go. G. Period. And then... Some smart-ass, smart-alecky name. We'll call you Alexa. There we go. Easy game. Chain as in chain armor. Medium armor type. Alright, there's our party. G, Zhao, Dune, Serena, and Alexa. Delightful. The loading screen happens fast. We're now going to save the game. A new party emerges. So... We start with clubs. I'm glad Falagar could, like, train us for three years to give us clubs here as we start out on our journey. Look at these character models. Oh, they're adorable. We have the letter. Mm. My, my dear Solman, 
You have done well, and I hereby promote you to High Priest of the Second Circle. There is a sum of gold waiting for you in the hands of Andover Potbellow and Usurpical, that he will turn over to you if you tell him the Sandman sent you, and show him the seal in this letter. Sandman, I like that. The handling of the Roland affair was masterful, and I especially like the Snowstorm touch. They really put the fear in him, didn't it? Superstitious fool. His removal has moved our timetable ahead by at least two years, has spared us the trouble of assassinating him at a more delicate time. All arrangements are in place. My minions have engineered the recall of Queen Catherine to her homeland in Arathia to attend the funeral of her father. She will not return this year, and that only leaves her worthless brat Nikolai and that idiot regent Wilbur Humphrey running things at the palace. The people have begun to sense that something is wrong, that perhaps the gods are angry, that perhaps the Iron Fists have lost the Mandate of Heaven. Just a few more disasters. There may well be a full-scale rebellion. And we'll be waiting at the breach, ready to step in and tell the sheep what to do and when to do it. Already our temples spread across the land, offering aid to those displaced by disasters and comfort to the bereaved. Yes, remain in New Sorbical and stay out of sight. When the time is right, you will be contacted and give further instructions. So take heart and know that our plan proceeds smoothly. You'll be ruling this world soon. Your position in a higher hierarchy will be very high. Xenofex. We've got a crossbow. Crossbows are the deadliest ranged weapons made since the time of wonders. <laughs> well, that's good. Some leather armor. A sword. Look at how beautiful that sword is. And then a ring of elect resistance plus three. Fire, electricity, cold, poison, and magic resistance. Magic resistance represents your character's ability to minimize damage from magic attacks. Though high resistance can greatly reduce magic damage, it does not make your character immune. Experience, level, age, our various weapons, armor class, hit points, and the stats there. We've got our skills, inventory, and awards, and an exit. Let's see, we had a crossbow, obviously, a long sword. What's the ring do? Personality plus five? Okay, we'll go ahead and put that on. Not this ring. Endurance plus one? We'll probably sell that. Static charge? Yes. And a flame arrow. Okay. We got this mace. Little more than a glorified club. First aid? Yes. Bless? Yes. And remove fear. Okay. A dagger? And a just blessed ring. Look at how beautiful that ring is. The three pearls mounted on a gold base glimmer a faint blue when held out in the sun, offering insight as to the source of their magic. We sure do, Tangled String, we sure do. Though we don't have to have a dedicated individual handling all of our potions. Uh, so we'll just have the sorcerer do it out of my habit playing seven. I noticed that we only got one potion. One bottle potion bottle, one... Reagent. Oh well. Flame arrow. All right. Static charge. Yes. And cold beam. Okay. Cold beam. <laughs> I think that about does it for inventory management. We'll go ahead and sell these clubs. These rings don't matter enough for me, so we'll chuck those too. Show soul men's letter to Andover Potbello and New Sorpical. That's our one quest. No notes about ship. Our map of New Sarpical. And our calendar. Over here, Spellbook. Which we'll want to take a look at. Torchlight. And Flame Arrow creates and fires a single flaming arrow. Unless, like most spells, this spell is notoriously inaccurate and has the same chance of hitting as a regular arrow. Wizard Eye. And Static Charge. Only does two to six points of damage, but it always hits. Yes. Yes. Spirit arrow. Can miss. We have bless. Blessed characters have an increased chance to hit monsters in hand-to-hand -hand combat with missiles. I'm glad we have that spell. Good. Meditation temporarily increases a single character's intellect and personality statistics, which is fine, I guess. I don't know how long that lasts. Doesn't give you a duration there. It's a little micro-intensive, because you'd have to have that and then heal your spell points 
some other way, like at a temple or a fountain. Remove fear. Over here we have cure weakness, and we've got first aid, which will be pretty useful for us. And finally, Flame Arrow and Torch Light we're familiar with. Wizard Eye and Static Charge. Over here we have Awaken and Cold Beam. Masters of Water can cast this spell without cost. Is this also 2 to 6, the exact same? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Is there anything else I want to manage right now? Quick reference there. Uh, instead of having, like... Region-specific reputations. The reputation in this game is global. Memory serves. It may not. That's okay. No, we do not have to get slapped by trolls. We have an awakened spell. Provided that a uh, person who has the awakened spell isn't a slave. We'll save the game again. Let's do as is recommended. And of her pot bellow? Bah, friend. Oh, um, I thought you remember my temple. Sorry, my mistake. Here's a letter. Oh, the seal. Here, I'm supposed to give you this money. Now go away before we're seen together. Someone will get suspicious. So, Soul Man the Trader gets 1,000 gold. Don't try to say I didn't pay. You got your gold. He also has a quest for us. This follower of Ba. Could you do the Temple of Ba a favor? It appears that my brethren left the old temple to the northwest of here in a little too much of a hurry, and a candelabra necessary for some of our rituals was left behind. None of the Ba priests want to go back because they're afraid of whatever curse has been placed on the temple. If you were to bring back the candelabra to me, however, I could reward you in their place. Well, that's good. We have Maria. Teach us about brigands. With the death of Roland and rumors of a collapse of the Iron Fist rule, the roads are almost unsafe to travel anymore. Brigands and bandits of all sorts now prey on anyone traveling too far from the protection of the castles. Albert Newton and Mist handles the promotion of sorcerers or wizards. Good info. The proprietor of ha the Howling Moon is George Cannis. It's a wonderful place. Tell him I said hi. And then we have our innkeep. Where we can rent rooms, fill packs, have drinks, and tip. Hey, Edith. Hello. We can talk to our various townsfolk here, and in addition to, like, asking whether they want to join us for, like, various benefits. As a bard, she grants a constant single category bonus to our reputation in exchange for 10% of our gold. No, it doesn't. Gold and I. How are you? But, uh, the townsfolk also have stuff you can ask them. Like, let's think. Sewers under Freehaven house all sorts of interesting things. I've heard stories of hideous temples, treasure, and well sewage. I don't know which to believe, but it certainly seems like an interesting place. An ocean travel around here can be dangerous because of the sea serpents and water elementals that roam the oceans. Looking for a weapon? Over here, we can buy a weapon. Like this dark hammer. And this wicked mace. Cutlass. Spear. And also sell our clubs. Good. Identify, repair, and then special. Is special items, which are all daggers. Shadow dagger, blood dagger, long dagger. Dagger, 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 dagger. Come again. Greetings. Watermaster here. The water in the lakes and seas around Inroth is very cold, neither the best swimmers can drown in it. Pull in the water, get out as fast as you can. Can't survive long there, no matter how tough you think you are. I heard that the abandoned keep on the hill is now home to a pack of goblins. The keep was built to keep the goblins away, so how could this possibly happen? Ancient prophets claim the power to walk on water, and I've rediscovered their secret. Cast the water walk spell. Change for 10% of your gold. Not bad. Greetings. This mystic here tells us about liches. Sorcerers trading lives for eternal lives and undead. Who would do such a thing? But if you find any, you should be careful. And cobra eggs. I am a collector of rare and exotic creatures, and I make a living by selling some of these creatures as pets. Currently, cobras are in great demand. I don't have many cobras left to sell. If you find any cobra eggs, I'll give you the best prizes. Buccaneers Lair membership. Psst. Hey. Hey, yeah. You. 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 You want to be a buccaneer? Huh? Huh? Thank you. 
Greetings and salutations. Harold Hess, the laborer. Someone has to do all the grunt labor around here. Too bad that someone is me. And then membership. The blades end. Wants us. Thank you. Greetings and salutations. You're an, you've an average reputation, sir. I don't want anything to do with you. This gambler doesn't think we're good enough to speak with. So we could beg, threaten, or bribe. Anything. Yes. You can buy these. I could like finagle like a merchant skill. Hold that thought. This banker here. My sources tell me that you have committed a number of crimes. They say you may even have killed. I'm afraid that with that record, I cannot help you. Greetings and salutations. Eric Salzberg here. Because skills get so difficult to learn once you achieve a high level, then it's much more efficient to learn many skills to a moderate level rather than a couple of skills to a high level. Tells us about expert bodybuilding. And then where you can find the master of bodybuilding, which is not marked in your book in Might and Magic 6, which is. I'm glad they did a different design choice for 7. It was good. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Victor Hosen. Expert meditation. And uh, Mist as the meditation master. Master. Greetings. Violet Dawson the Potter tells us about hot fires to make strong, excellent fire. Pottery. I'd make a trip to Castle Kriegsfire to try out the fires they're supposed to have under the castle. This is a quest. My daughter Angela is missing. She may have wandered into the abandoned temple near town. Who knows what kind of horrible things are lurking in that cursed place. A membership to the Guild of the Self. That's good. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Thank you. Thank you. What are you looking at? Here's Blade's End. We can pick up some skills in weapons and armor. Stone cutter. Hello. Oh boy. The end of the world draws nigh. Marble is the finest building material money can buy. When the Temple of Ba moved out of that old temple outside of town, all the little problems we've been having just went away. That's hmm. But 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 you did you did the gesture. You, hmm. 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 Anyway, this stone cutter has nothing to offer. But I'm good company. Just feed me and throw me a few gold pieces, and I'll be happy to accompany you. The gate master. Hello. I do town portal, peasant. I would not dare speak to you. This is a well of plus ten temporary might. Hello. Good morning, I'm Sabrina. Pleased to meet you. That is jaunty and foppish. I like it. There's some places you can't get to by boat during different times of the year. You should plan your trips carefully to avoid inconvenience. We're traveling to the islands just off our north shore. The waters sometimes ha waters sometimes have dangerous monsters. The islands are none too hospitable either. And the guide. Uh, kind of killing time around town here. Till a town hall opens. Hi. That is... I'm gonna need you to stop blinking so rapidly at me. Schmitty. Closed. Closed. So this uh, well does spell points. This well does hit points. Let's throw down a... Aha! Aha! A wizard eye. Greetings and salutations! Fire magic expert and Jezebel in mist. Closed. That's a buccaneer's. You don't tell me now. The buccaneer's Greetings hideout lair. Earth magic expertise. Silver Cove is where we go to become masters. Plus two luck permanent. Get it, G. You too, shall do. That's all the all the hits of it it had. How about some training? 
Nathan's seen some shit. Let's watch. Well, another train passes. Oh, the excitement. The intensity. The faux dragon head? Maybe real. Hmm. Closed. Closed. It's still fucking Greetings and salutations. Spirit magic expert. And Bishop Inquisitorio. He lives right behind Castle Ironfist. You can't miss him. Greetings and salutations. This Windmaster? Magical flying is constrained to a certain altitude, so certain high mountains will block magical flight. Given all the advantages of flight, it's a very minor drawback. You can learn Dagger, Merchant Identify, Perception, Disarm Trap, at Protection Services in Silver Cove and White Cap. And, uh, you know, we had an extra thousand gold pieces. This Windmaster would actually speak to us and join us. Yes, a supply spell on you once a day. Ruth the Guide. Hello. Hello. Mind magic expert, Thane Ropers in Silver Cove. Greetings. Greetings. Ooh, I'm talking to Sir Never Do Wrong. Such an honor. So, uh, there are characters in this game who care about your reputation one way or the other. Hello. Body magic expert, Gilbert Hammer there in Silver Cove. And then this child. I hate school. My father says I need to work hard so then get a good job. Maybe even learn to study magic. Who cares about that? I just want to play. Though their physical attacks are weak, these mages can cast various elemental attack spells. Thank you, child. <laughs> Thank you. You have been most helpful. All right. Need a ride? Need a ride? Aaron the Stable Master is willing to ferry you over to Castle Iron Fist. Have a look around. And uh shopkeep here. Would you like some stuff? We got ingredients. We got reagents. You only have one potion bottle. Awkward. It's gonna be awkward for me to mix stuff in that. We'll take them all. But I would have liked more potion models. Fine. Fine, whatever. What do I know, Baka? Go ahead and save the game again as I refamiliarize myself with my keys that I bound. Alright. I need your help. Frank Fairchild here. A raiding party of goblins has staked out the West Bridge, hoping to rob and kill travelers. They aren't very subtle. You can see them from a mile away, but they are dangerous. Watch your step. Members of the Shadow Guild have moved down south recently. They've been trying to exert their influence over merchants in the area. Refused them access to our town, so they kidnapped Sherry Carnegie, an old healer loved by the townspeople, in an attempt to convince me to let them operate here. I can't believe their extortion has moved so far south. I thought it was safe from that down here. Please rescue Sherry. Shari? Can offer you some money as a reward. I'm sure the townsfolk would appreciate her return. I'm so tired of the Shadow Guild, but I don't have any substantial proof of their activities. I'd love to have something to show to Anthony Stone, proving the Shadow Guild is up to no good down here. And then Janice, the clerk. We get all of our important shipments in on Tuesday. Just south of town is an old keep called Goblin Watch. It was originally built to help keep the town safe from goblin raids. The times have been so peaceful recently that we haven't been taking care of it. You can imagine our embarrassment when we realize that the very monsters we were guarding against have moved into the keep. They also changed the lock on a very important door leading to the caves below the dungeon level. They have a standing reward of 2,000 gold pieces to the ones who can figure out the combination and tell us what it is. Oh, and this month's bounty is on a grand druid. Alright, I'll keep that in mind. So, secrets abound in this video game. Over here we have a fly scroll. Up here, you rub that, and I'll just go ahead and show this off. I don't intend to, uh, like, pursue this this story path. Also, um, 
flying in these towns gets you shot at. There is a malfunction happening with the guard towers stationed around Inrath, and until you get that resolved, those towers will fire at you. Anyway, welcome to Dragon Sand. There's dragons. Gold dragon, blue dragon, red dragon. It's a lot of fucking dragons. Dragons just hanging out. Completely non-territorial. Just, you know, here. Over here is an altar. It adds plus 10 to all statistics and all resistances. Plus 20 to all stats permanently. And here is an Easter wow. egg, which is more grandiose than uh, the one in Might Magic 7 is. Welcome to New World Computing. You can get a bunch of gold here. You can uh, find a potion machine that'll give you a shit ton of vial, uh, potion vials to do all your potion crafting that you want to do. You can slay JVC in here. Feeling looks kind of odd. You can find like various individuals who created this video game and have chats with them. Then you can go to hell, which is where this is. Yeah, Dragon Sam. We'll just go ahead and fly around here and show this off briefly. There's a town over here at the southwest that has uh, someone you can hire for Town Portal, has like a banker you can hire, has a number of other things. So you can hire this person. I think it was in here. You had the gold. And we could get the gold if I went into the Easter Greetings egg place. Salutations. Yeah, Gate Master. Uh, teleport to where I need to go. Fire her. And maybe like, just have like a self-perpetuating cycle. Provided that I teleported back to like New Sorbogal because I could completely quickly hop back here. Stuff like that. Oh wait, there's that for you. Dragon Sam. Welcome, Fountain of Youth. Welcome to my desert resort. Lord only knows how they survive all of the fucking dragons out there, right? You can't explain it. <laughs> the chests around here, I believe you can also dodge. If I just uh, you give me a moment here. Damn. All right. Didn't Eternity do that well. lies before thee. Thy work in the land I would have needed to scroll up quicker to dodge done. that. Return, brave ones. I am certain we will meet again. <laughs> I like the animation of the deaths okay. scene uh, in this game, more than I do in 7. Anywho, there's that. Just thought I'd show that off. Your fly scroll can be used in all kinds of wonderful situations, including ferrying you over to Dragon Sand, including ferrying you to New World Computing. What I will do is I'll use the fly scroll now to give you all a tour of this map. And you'll see there's enemies right here in town. So I guess I'll go take care of them first. What is this building? The magic of spirit, mind, and body. Right, initiate guild of the self. We've got first aid and harm. And healing touch and bless cheaply heals a single character. Cure weakness. That's spirit magic healing. Ooh. Three to seven for three as opposed to five for two. Hmm. And then harm. I think I'd rather use our spell points for, uh,. Defense more than offense. Excuse me, I just gotta gotta come up here for a moment if I just could, you know. I could just Help. Damn their attack animations, man. Woof. Okay, we can't have you use magic in that instance. That was that was too close. 
better run. What? What you got? got another one. There, we're just helping out new Sorbagola, Jeru. Greetings and salutations. Donald Renser up here teaches you how to learn. I don't recall whether learning actually modifies quest XP in this game. Beyond Tuck. There we go. And our uh, wizard eye already expired. There, that is just some of the many enemies we'll encounter in this game. Magic horseshoes, we'll just put them on the source for. So that we can water magic. I'm not going to care about time progression too much in this run. As this is just a sort of relaxing way to refamiliarize myself with this video game. Starting HP. You can see how potent G is compared to everyone else. Alright. Let's give everyone this tour around town. And the map. Over here in the west, you have the abandoned Temple of Ba. There's goblins and apprentice magi lurking out there. You can see that fireball streaking in from the heavens. A cook pot full of one food. An obelisk over here. The surface of the obelisk is blood warm to the touch. A message swims into view as you remove your hand. What could it mean? A couple of horseshoes. Those will also be given to the sorcerer. Water magic of three, thank you. Let me go ahead and hold page up and page down for that. Excuse me. Page up for that. Yeah, it's fine. Lost myself a little bit here. Don't recall our yar. Wouldn't say if it was or wasn't. This is a trap fire, memory serves, and a bunch of goblins and mages come oh, out to play. Tonight. Naomi Highland, the healer. If you're wounded enough, you will fall unconscious. Taking a wound while unconscious almost always leads to death. Fruit tree. Fruit on the trees in the orchards of our fair town is quite tasty and free for all to take. You should try it sometime. The healer. Cures all party hit points once a day. There's a scholar in here, I think. How are you today? Yeah. Who is willing to join you and identify your shit? Sitting under the Lord Newton and Mist for eight years. Percent bonus on all XP gained. That's pretty good. I am a big fan of scholars. Uh, but I can always like come out here if I need your services. Maybe. I mean, I might want to keep that money. Don't really need you right now, but I did cast Fly. I had like a factor or a banker, I'd feel better, but there was like a banker in town who rejected me. We'll recruit him anyway. Got it! Should have uh, should have opened that before, you know, recruiting him. He's already making bank. Here's another dungeon over here. Uh we play around with this later. Yeah, there's scholars in my Magic 7. I really enjoy those followers. We have no business being in there. Uh, over here, I've just got this banker? Huh? Greetings. Da. Da. Da, Marcy, the rejection it burns. Greetings and salutations. Here's an ancient weapon expert. No weapon today can match the power of the weapons from the Time of Wonders. I'm not sure any of those ancient weapons exist anymore, but I can show you some tricks if you find one. Really? I'm not crazy. <laughs> Let me turn some light on my room. You can, you can reflect on that avatar and make your own judgments. I know how to use these weapons, but I don't have any. <laughs> you find one. 
I know what's up. <laughs> okay. Well, that's good. And then very few people even know these weapons exist. The only other person I've ever seen using an ancient weapon is Rexella. But she was last living in Paradise Valley. I'm not sure she's even there anymore. Note also that I am losing spell points. Courtesy of Fly being active. Also note these enemies. A banker may regret not joining me when she gets fucking gutted. Just throwing that out there. Not, you know. Just, you know. Just, just speaking words into existence, as one does. I know, right? Like, hmm. Up here, Hello. we have an identification expert. How are you? We have a perception expert. The Watchful can sometimes see a trap just before it goes off. Yes, indeed. The Tower of Pain. Now, down here in the south is where we have all kinds of fun and adventure. We have goblins guarding the bridge to Castle Iron Fist. We have the abandoned fort of Goblin Watch. Over here, we have a boat guarded by goblins. Uh, and there should be apprentice mages over here. Yeah, there's the boat there. I don't know whether it goes anywhere today. And in these little crevice and then heading out here towards where Falagar is, is 1,700 mages. Just 1,700 of them. Just so fucking many. Don't mind that fireball, by the way. They tried to get me away. It's fine. Come on! I should have cast some healing. I'm also noting that uh, something that I forgot about in Might Magic 6 is that you don't have, like, a movement phase in this. In our turn-based action. Come on, you want a piece of me, Goblin King? He's like, you're fucking damn right I do. We're having a hard time hitting the Goblin King. You get over here. We'll bully the weaker. Need to cast Bless. Let's cast first aid, then we'll cast Bless. Bless me. Alright, oh, it's a single target thing. God help me. Did you break my armor? You broke my bow! You can do that? Just this fucking goblin out here can break your gear? What the hell? My Magic 6 is vicious? How did I ever enjoy playing this game? You could. Great. Forgot what I had my pass key set to. There we go. Pick up these piles of gold to repair my bow. Aha. To the chainmail. Which we cannot equip at this time. I can't fly right now because I got no spell points. We'll pick all the fruit here, as we were told. That is our birthright. I wouldn't mind a banker or a factor, but I'm, I don't want to spend a bunch of time looking around for like someone who might fucking talk to me, you know? I already looked at these folks around here earlier. Then again, I did load the game, so it's an entirely like separate batch of friends. Excuse me, what was your name? Zorex. Okay. 
Strong name. Cracker, Miller, Merchant, Farmer. Merchant might not be so bad either, but I wouldn't mind extra cash at this time. A Surf? A Teacher? It's not too bad. Give me extra XP. I don't think my issue is going to be so much an XP thing. Well, I don't know. We'll find out. Could be a money thing too. What's in this door? Greetings and salutations. Air magic expert. Makes sense. Don't mind that. Just be cool. Be cool. <laughs> Fucking told you it's dangerous to fly around here. It's just the way it is. The follower of Ba? Hmm. Hey. Greetings and salutations. Thank God. I think I'm good. Appreciate the offer. Another follower of Ba. You've loaded and somehow made this town worse. An instructor? Well, I did want to find someone who would print out money for me. Will you talk to me? Greetings and salutations. You will not, you son of a bitch. I don't know, Galaxy Dude. I don't know whether you can use the fireballs to your advantage in town. Banker. Greetings and salutations. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Look at this man. Look at this pretentious asshole. <laughs> Why well, it's better to find people like in homes that you can recruit? Because they'll join you. Not be assholes about this whole reputation thing. This teacher joined me? Charmed, I'm sure. 10% bonus on all XP earned. I heard that fireball. We'll do this a couple more times. I'll see about it finding a factor, maybe? Because a banker might just have a stiff, like, reputation requirement. I would just like to earn some more money. In our exploration. Alternatively, I could, like, fish around for dupers and merchants. You know, for selling things as well. And I saw a duper bank there. A cartographer. You just give me perma nice... Greetings and salutations. Oh, dear heavens. <laughs> Here I was being like, fine, I won't earn more money. I'd like the idea of an expert wizard eye. <laughs> Fucking break of my balls here. Whatever. Killing the goblins haunting the town and not good enough for that bastard. What the hell's an alchemist doing this salutations. game? Fine, whatever. Bard increases your reputation. An explorer for like quicker travel. Windmaster, Miller. Getting shot at by the town tower. Alright, we'll do this two more times. Then I'm done. We'll just move on with our lives. Pirate, navigator, sailor, weaver, tailor, gambler, duper, explorer, expert healer, mystic, pathfinder. Okay. Maybe I should use the quick factor. Factor? Noble? What the fuck does a noble do? Greetings People have been asking this question for years. <laughs> what the fuck does a noble do? <laughs> Carpenter. <laughs> Felt like a connection to my past there. A heritage. <laughs> a line of uh, generations, basically. Yeah, what does a noble do? Alright, Factor. Greetings and salutations. Cool. I'm like sitting next to the fire at home with a glass of wine, my dog at my feet, and a good balance sheet to work on. That's the life. Dagger Merchant Identify Perception Disarm Trap. Alright, we earn an extra 5% bonus on all gold found, which pays for the Scholar, basically. That'll be fine. We're gonna scoop that up too before I went to earn more money, but such is life. These things happen. No big deal. Let's go dunk on some fools, he said, hopefully. Uh. 
Elemental magic. This shit does not miss. Unless you're using fire. It's really nice. You better run from me. There's a lot over here. There's another Goblin King over here? That's minorly concerning. Forgot to repair my bow. I, you know, Ashley, we'll find out together as a family, won't we? I'm leaving now, goodbye. done getting free spell points out of here. Let me go to a weapon shop. There you are. Take me to the weapon shop. Repair this. How much does this cost? 11 gold? Okay. That's not bad. That could have been worse. Wouldn't mind getting another bow. What are you looking at? For you, but we can't learn that at Blade's End, or clerics can't learn bow. I don't know the answer to that one way or the other. Uh -huh. Hi, friends. Uh -huh. Fuck that apprentice mage. Uh -huh. And that mage. That mage, too. Got that one. Where you kids think you're going. Followers take one. That's okay. It, um... Like, your bankers and factors will still be listed as taking money. Even though they're adding you money. Just a quirk of this, of might and magic at work. Damn, did a terrible job of dodging that. Let's put you on... Yes. Whoa! I'm just saying, maybe you could dodge that damn firebolt that the Goblin King shoots. I wouldn't want to, like, want to pressure you or anything. What can't clerics do? A lot. Cast elemental magic. Bam. Earth wins. It's a burden winning all the time, you know? <laughs> We're out of juice there, too, which means we're going to be using the temple from now on. Can we assist you? Yes. Be with you. We have clearing to do. I don't have time to wait and heal. Aha. Crossbow and a hammer. All right, well... 2d4 loses to 2d5. That's basic mathematics for you. Was this a legit playthrough or just showing us the cool stuff? I'm playing a video game here. Like, if the cool stuff was me fucking around New Sorpagal, what the hell? What? <laughs> and then, like, seven minutes in Dragon Sand? Seven minutes in Heaven. All right, let's actually go to the first quest that's heralded in ye old instruction manual. Get me, goblin. Come on, goblin. Be realistic. He's like, I'm being realistic!
That sucked. I thought she was. I thought that goblin shaman was actually booking it from me. Well, now my cleric's unconscious and damn near dead. Do I want to use one of my precious potion bottles? Goblins are seriously you? ten gold. Man, you you look generous here. Be with you. Thank you. How much more fly time do I have? An hour and sixteen seconds. Okay. It's nice that uh, enemies don't carry too far, uh, like they do in Might and Magic 7. They don't follow you as far. Otherwise, this town would be overrun, instead of overrun on the outskirts. Yeah, what you, what you got now? I'm, I'm fully healed again. That's not fair. He has a temple that just fully heals him. Now you see the the power, though, of the elemental magic being with you from the very beginning. That can't miss stuff? Mm. Don't mind that fireball, everyone. It's fine. Bring it to us, eh? It's good. We're good. That, uh, that recovery speed. A little rough. Especially after all the uh, the Might and Magic 7 I played last weekend. Just that recovery speed time. What are my speed levels? Average. Goblin King? Ugh, I don't want to fight that. Why, Goblin King? Why? Mm. Hi. How you doing? I don't want to be daggered in the back by this damn Goblin King, though. Gotta remember, he can also destroy my gear. What's up, Goblin King? Hermit wins. Got it. Accuracy plus three, huh? Okay. We'll put that on. Hmm. Got that one. Proud of bless. Being bullied by a few goblins. Quit picking on my sorcerer. She's flimsy. She doesn't even have any thumbs. All right. We're out of fly juice. It will be missed. That extra speed you could travel around at, very, very addicting. Don't worry, if, we, if we're sad about running out of goblins, there's more goblins indoors. And uh, there's more goblins... ...in Goblin Watch. I might be dropping some frames. I've dropped some frames this broadcast. Doesn't look like I've dropped anything recent. A minor percentage of all frames. Can we assist you? Go ahead and pay our fees I'll here. Be with you. Not for the archer. We'll uh just heal up the archer. Do 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 Let's go actually accomplish the first quest, the thing that you're told you can just go in here and do.
The weathered stones of this old keep shelter empty buildings in an unused courtyard. Faint sounds echo from a worn stairway that leads down below the keep. I got a bad feeling about this place. Goblin watch. A common rat! You better run. In my goblin watch? It's more likely than you think. No day of the gods equipped old for murder machine right now, though. Leave me in these. What's the point of them? Got it. Goblin watch code. Here is the key to the combination door you requested. Sincerely, the draw cab monks. Trap opens various doors. Maintenance reset. Ah, a strident. Plus one d6 if used two handed. Got it. Mm. Another bow. Mm. We just need the skill. You might be able to get that uh, castle iron fist. Glad I picked up someone with this arm trap. I'd have to wait until uh, the cove opened. Got it. Mm. The blade spell. Mm. Another trident. Okay. It was very fruitful. Got a inventory jam packed full of goodies already. Put that helmet on. You look like a fierce warrior for sure. Keep those bows aside. Do I go back and just get extra heal-ups already? No, I think we'll uh, weather it out. How long is my blood less last out of the 20 minutes? Ah! My sorcerer! He's made out of tapioca and taffy! Get him, G. That'll show him. I, I'm sorry, I... I forgot those fucking existed. <laughs> right. Those exist. Very good. Let's get out of here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Good. 
Good. Good. Good, good. 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 Can we assist you? Yes! You can! I'll be with you. Thank you. Can what the hell? Heal that too. I'll be with you. Great. Well, look who's here. It's me! Give me a... A merchant? Couldn't be without it. Yeah, now it's cheaper. Look at that. Give me a perception? I think that's just for, like, dodging traps. I don't... The secret sort of, like, pulsating mechanic was added in... Might and Magic 7. What the hell? We'll give it to Couldn't you as well. Be without it. Notice treasures where others would not. Okay. It's okay. Jiao Dune is fine. Don't worry about it. G, Jiao Dune, Serena, and Alexa. It's good. Don't worry. You're fine. Make it a little bit quicker. Beg your pardon. <laughs> no. Not really looking on uh, advice or where like skills would be used. In this video, okay? Take care, Shaolin. They're over there. Hot single soul suckers in my area waiting for me. Diseased again? You're just gonna stay diseased. And have fewer hit points than the damn sorcerer. I don't feel like using my two potion vials to fix that. One of my two. That was kind of a virgin breaking, huh? Look at that. He's ready. I don't know what he's ready for, but damn it, he's ready. The switch! This is fun. Huh? Nothing else changed? Hey! Help. See, look, they're they're already scared of us due to how much damage we dealt. You're fine. Howdy, howdy. Don't worry about it. You're good. Got it. Studded leather, starburst, awaken, wooden shield, and a cutlass. All right. Put on the studded leather. No. No, I didn't give you that skill. 2d4 versus 3d3? Okay. Understood. Our bless is about to expire. Alright. How? Ah. Let's go ahead and get this fixed. How about we do a fighting retreat? I like that. We got spell points to burn. Fighting retreat. Hi. 
<laughs> well, we're kind of out of spell points to burn now. Uh oh. Let's skedaddle back to town then. Do -do 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 -do. This isn't mentioned in the instruction manual. And then you retreated back to the temple to heal. We could let time pass by resting at the tavern. Or just, you know, rest. I'm not about that life. We're making money. Let's get some shit done. Can we assist you? Luck be with you. Luck be with me and you. Do, 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 do. Well, look who's here. Everyone learns merchant. Wouldn't be without it. Wouldn't be without it. Would not be without it. Would not consider or fathom. I prefer Might Magic 7 over this. It has been 18 years since I've played this game in depth. But uh, every time I broadcast or record Might Magic 7, I, uh, this game comes up. You know, they're released within a year of each other. Um, despite using the same engine, there are considerable differences in the video games. I thought it was worth showing off. Though plenty who desire to see it can find places where it is visible. All right. We got buttons. We got a code. Hmm. Mm. We just got a print screen as well. We hold that. Put this in an image so I don't have to keep holding the mouse over that. Beautiful. That is that is strategy right there. I have never been wiser in my entire life than I have been at this very moment. That might be an exaggeration. I might be lying to you. But what if I wasn't lying to you? Okay. Hmm. You think my Magic 7 gets away from the science fiction elements? They're less stressed. Yeah, it's more an end reveal. Near end. I'll hold this up for a little bit if you folks want to puzzle this out on your own. I do know the solution. Time's up. In. I. L. B. O. G. No bog. That's goblin backwards. What do you mean the goblins decided that that was going to be the password? Uh, Gotta renew the blesses. Uh, Don't make that face at me. <laughs> who, who gave you permission to make that face? <laughs> oh. You're not authorized to make that face. Now, all 
we need to do for the quest is find the combination and return to Town Hall. But Town Hall is closed right now. Why don't we uh, assist the good townsfolk by clearing this place out for them? God forbid we, we burden them with that, yeah? Hi. Large rat. Get that a little bit further. Man, it feels weird activating real time and turn base like this, opposed to how I do it in seven. All right, we should be good. Clean up the bodies. Notice that I'm out of wizard eye. Oh wait, there's more. Call now. It's not capitalized. So it's not interactable. Alright. We have here a turquoise cyan aqua plasteel blue pillar to justice and a hole. Where could the hole go? It is a mystery to everyone. You know you don't have to use turn-based, right? You don't say. Quickly. Can we assist you? I'll take that. I'll take that too, so he starts making that face over. Alright. I mean, there could be a teleporter trap in there. Goblins keep saying right at me. Right, good. Did my magic get less fuck you as the series went on? What do I do with that question? <laughs> you mean as in like less cruel and unfair to the player as opposed to like the first and second game? Well, the second one is 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 pretty all right. I guess, yeah. <laughs> There's been a lot of Might Magic games. They, as a matter of fact, continued after Might Magic 8. Albeit under different management. Might Magic 9 is something. To answer the question about uh, whether some enemies are better to face in real time as opposed to turn base, like it is in 7, it'd be a situational thing. 
enemies do operate at attack animation speed in 6. But naturally, there's going to be some enemies that have really frightening projectiles you'd want to dodge. Or not, I suppose. You're fine, sorcerer. Don't worry about it. Get over it. Help. See how amused this cleric is at you. You're fine. More rats. Little buddies, how you doing? Everything, everything okay in here? Y'all, y'all okay? You're coming up later. Got it. Thunder Mace? This mace is one of thousands turned out by the Heavenly Forges before the Silence. That was more than a thousand years ago, and not many remain. Aha. A couple normal maces. Got it. Still know a number of folks who, uh, who swear by either Might and Magic 3 or uh, the 4 and 5. The 4 and 5? Got it. Sure. Got it. And it's not just a matter of, like, when it grew up or what age of games, uh -huh. like, like, you played. It just determines, like, whether what you prefer. Put that shield there. I, I said let's put that there, thanks. Oh, oh what do you know? It was a trap? Jamin's out of the woodwork. There's quite a bit of that in this video game, of monsters teleporting in on you. Go ahead and give you this. No, wait. You don't use staff. Not by default. You have a dagger. Got that confused. Wrong game. You just have a normal dagger? Let's give you a long dagger. A common long dagger, bordering on swords. How long is this compared to a sword? Not even calling that a short sword, huh? Just long dagger? Okay. Let's try that again. <laughs> I can safely say we're not going 25 hours like we did with last weekend's broadcast. Can't really do this game to that extent. I'm also going to get murdered in here. So, uh, look forward to that. Falling down the hole. Not a good idea. This should work. Let's go ahead and crank out some potions. I was gonna save them for the black potions. How dare you. Damn shaman. Get over here. Less murder than advertised. I think I'll do something I didn't do the entirety of the Might and Magic 7 playthrough. Sleep for the sake of, like, resting and recovering. If I can find a spot with green lights. That's a negative on that. Not here. We can't rest here. That's fine. We have the one empty potion vial. We have the one empty potion vial. Oh, we might as well put that in blue. It worked. And put that in spell points. Start patching up the kids here. Let's 
Knight, Archer, Cleric, Sorcerer. There's only six classes in this video, go. Your default party is Paladin, Archer, Cleric, Sorcerer that the game kicks at you. Right. We can strafe around corners. There was an injured rat that really just skedaddled from me. Look at that attack animation at work. the rest of this in a moment. Can we assist you? G, you can stay like that. No, I can't leave G like that. I don't have the heart. Can we assist you? There you go, all better. Celebratory yell. Throw down a little dinky wizard eye for old time's sake. I'll break the fact that I didn't get murdered in here. It just cost me my beautiful potion vials. I'll have to go to New World Computing and buy 1,700 of them. So... There are several reasons why I've chosen to handle this as just gently meandering around the game without uh, pursuing power quickly. I wanted to show off the dungeon size in detail just a new Sarpagal compared to uh, Might and Magic 7s. Um, you have an Emerald Island like the decrepit Temple of the Moon, and you have Morkarak the Pitalis' Cave in uh, Arathia. Not Arathia, in Harmondale. You have the White Cliff Caves, and you have Castle Harmondale. Castle Harmondale's got a bit of size to it, but you don't end up having to clear all that. It just expands as you get the place repaired. The White Cliff Caverns are not that large. That was not a good angle. It was a pretty bad angle. Ah, I get you. Understood. Look what you've done now. One more, one more time. There you go, girl. You cast the correct spell. Goblins waiting around the corner. Get out of here. Little bastards. Aha. These leather boots. Color and detail on those. That's something. What about the night? Someone's needed to carry this party back to the temple. Since we didn't go with a full elemental, like, crush enemy super quick fest. Hello, Goblin King. 
Something I am thrown off by in 6 is the lack of, like, a stat screen for monsters. Just seeing, like, avatars of the enemies and all that blank space. Not used to that. certainly right to add, like, designs of enemies that have ranged powers. Otherwise, it would, uh... Not sure where I want to go with that. It's a good mix-up, though, to have enemies with uh, range attacks. Otherwise, you just end up bullying the monsters. More so than you already can. Guess I ain't even bothered to do bless. There we go. Enemies waiting in the crevasses again. Get over here, you. Where do you think you're going? Wait for everyone's lights to go back up. Oh, more bloodsuckers. Time out. Time in? <laughs> Time in? Something about this game, though, is because of how narrow and cramped the dungeons often are in 6, you end up with situations where monsters just hang a lot on the terrain. We certainly see this happen in 7 as well. Look at that attack speed. Blazing. A little bit of gold there for your pocket. Move on. Let's just go ahead and restore the kids before I go deeper. We picked up enough gold to pay for the temple fees. We'll handle the slow tracking. Wouldn't want to sleep in there. Unseemly. Characters can sleep later. Look who's here. That's right, Herman. Closed. Ah, uh, yes, we hit the narrow window of time that the temple closes. Damn. Guess we will have to go to sleep. Does the inn close at that exact same time as well? Closed. 5 a.m. to 2 a.m. Sure does. How does the game know? Enjoy the music here. It's been a while since I heard this track in depth. Get scolded at by some people in town. Greetings. Two windmasters hanging out beneath the tower, waiting to shoot them down. Hello. May the dark god save us from the righteous. Is there no end to you people? Get away from me before I put a hex on you. Party is weak too. We've been up too long. <sighs> so be it. Come out here into the grass. Camp just outside town. Have ourselves a full snooze. Don't glitch out like that terrain. Have a look around. Good. Can use a couple of those. Thank you. Have a look around. 
Pick that stuff up too. Thank you. What can I do for you? I'll deposit money a bit. I need your help. Uh, thank you for taking care of that little detail for us. Here's your gold. Feel free to return to Goblin Watch at any time to finish clearing out the rest of the monsters. We can't pay you, but you can have anything you find there. You did such a fine job with the Goblin Watch assignment that we would like to employ you again. A cult has moved into an old abandoned temple a few days' journey west of here. To pay for their blasphemous activities, they've been robbing travelers using the road that leads to Castle Ironfist. We've appealed to the region to do something about these horrible cultists, but he says all his forces are occupied in the west or some such nonsense. We want it gone now, so we're willing to pay you 5,000 gold pieces to get rid of them and bring us back the Chime of Harmony as proof you've done the deed. Pushing paper, better than the digging ditches. Besides, someone has to keep the machinery of state moving. Yes, the Grand Druid Bounty. Right, 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 right. Looking for a weapon? Maybe. How about I'm looking for you to buy my shit? Would you be interested in this stuff? This hot, exciting content of my inventory? It could be yours, my friend. <laughs> I didn't expect to transition to Morshear there, but here we are. It's yours, my friend. Biden. Base. Looking for a weapon? Dagger. Staff. Hammer. Come again. Howdy, howdy. Welcome in, folks. Looking for a weapon? Welcome to a gentle, relaxing stroll through Might and Magic 6. At least for this broadcast. Can I help you find anything? Felt like playing this again. I hadn't played this in 18 years. That's a bad boots, but I think we're gonna save the cash. Find some stuff as we go. What are you looking at? Don't you fucking talk to me like that. You know who the hell I am? I created this world at my computer, and I could end it in an instant. <laughs> Better watch who you're talking to. What are you looking at? What I say. What are you looking at? I'm warning you. <laughs> Hello. A smart official only associates with people of quality reputation. Your reputation is only average. <laughs> Not good enough for me. Sorry. Very well, then. Be like that. Hurt my feelings. Uh, Lost my damn train of thought. It could happen to you. What are you looking at? Did I want to bother? Well, you are going to get into this. I know that it slows you down to have this equipped. Kind of wanted to wait until other armor skills to... We'd slap on the sorcerer, I guess. What are you looking at? That will be useful. Want to give her staff? Let's think about it. Better slow than dead. Yeah, but the quicker reaction time may result in you being alive. Speed kills, right? You know what? You get to wear a crown. Congratulations, a laurel. Enjoy. It's yours, my friend. Sell these rings. Starburst? Hmm. Keep that. Maybe the emergency awaken of the sorcerer falls asleep. I could switch out followers. Have like a merchant duper for selling. Hello. Tell me, Noble, what do you do? This mandate of heaven nonsense really has the potential to start out something serious. Some serious trouble. If someone doesn't figure out what is going on these disasters during the kingdom's gonna fall apart. Well, I have no skills to offer, but I'm good company. Just feed me and throw me a few gold pieces and I'll be happy to... I bet you would, Noble. I guess you would. Can I help you find anything? Sell the blades. Sell these rings. Delightful. Thanks. Come again. Howdy, howdy. 
Just meandering around here, new Sorpagal. We still got other business. Don't touch the merchandise. Don't touch the merchandise, he says. Menacing with spikes. I keep that shield. Not a big deal, that shield, but... It's definitely not a big deal. Any nice gauntlets laying around? Cavalier gauntlets. Regal crown of magic plus four spell points? Hmm. Four spell points. It's a big deal for me right now. Come back soon. All right. You. What can I do for you? Old money. I don't know if I'm gonna eat deaths like I did in Might and Magic Seven during last weekend's uh, broadcast marathon. For the time being, you can go in there. A little sip from the well before we go. Eligible to train to level three. Bizarre. And because I'm not caring about time expended for score uh, in this. We'll just train up as we go. Get more powerful. Meet new people and fuck them. You know. The usual. This life is an adventure for you. I've been an adventure many times. So speed gas and bless. Do 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 do. Let's have them slowly walk towards me. It's more exciting this way. I kill that. I know, right? Got a shaman over there. Perforate. There's other friends out there in the distance. I'm about to take my first break once I finish with this damn dungeon. And when I do that, I will uh, re-enable the other channel point redemptions. The hate as well as the uh, roll of 20. No, Fluffy. It's not. You would see a different UI if I had that on. Because uh, it builds off of Might and Magic 8's mechanics, even though you can start in like any of the three games that you want. So you could have a party of five, and it uses Might and Magic 8's spell system. Or at least that's if memory serves. Which it might not. But no, I wouldn't play that until I got a. Uh, until I fully explored six again. And then until I took a harder look at eight. And by that point, I could see me burning, be burned out on the game, so why would I play anymore Might and Magic? Hi. Goblin King. I see you. Goblin King and a couple of a trio of shamans? Fighting retreat. Get blasted by fire. Plus, it's gonna last for another 19 minutes. Goblin King's a bit under half health. The Shaman's a bit under half health as well. Miss with both of those shots. There we go. Damn. 
this time that dodge. I don't recall how the party creation system works in that mod, whether you start with four and then add a fifth one, like once you get to like eight stuff, unless you start in that. Fight and Magic 8 has you just creating the one character and then finding the others as you go. And you Goblin King! Long may you reign. All right, we got green lights, but there's still more. But wait, there's even more. Call now. Mind that attack speed. Down goes the uh, cleric. Perfect. No, they're not loot. Otherwise, it'd be loot. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they're lowercase. See the F? Usually, things in this engine. Uh, if it's something you can interact with, not always, but usually, it's uppercase. If it's not, then it's lowercase. We good now on Goblin Watch? <laughs> we are not. Again, I want to note the size of this fucking dungeon. Compared to just what you see generally in Might Magic 7. It's just Goblin Watch. We have others. Got that one. <laughs> Brain Sucker. Got that one. Go ahead and skid out a little bit. Something this game really likes to throw at you. Clumps of enemies. Sometimes really large. Depends on the area or dungeon you're at. So elemental casters can really have a field day. With all of the area of effect spells they can throw out. Precision bow. Etched initials at the base of the bow indicate this bow was made by Master Bowyer, Ivan Selving's workshop during the Timber Wars against the Elves of Arathia in the late 600s. Go ahead and equip that. It's a 5d2 plus 4. Pretty good. Compared to our normal crossbow. Deadly strange weapon made since the time of wonders, though. How do I... How do I associate these two statements? Lance is about to fade out. But we got even more slaying to do. Slowly back off. Just normal goblins we don't have much problem with. In our level one forms. But we're not done yet. In the vast cavernous tunnels beneath Goblin Watch. <laughs> Rats and goblins living in harmony. Along with blood suckers and brain suckers. And that damn attack speed. <laughs> the 
enough out of you. Serena just rolled her eyes. Alright. Since I'm chucking these potion bottles into heaven what? anyway. I was showing off, I was considering whether to show off uh, crafting some white potions and black potions, since Might Magic 6 doesn't limit you in alchemy. So long as you know the recipes. The more I think about it, the more I'm not so sure. I wanted to show that off. Really, I could have just partied and do world computing with that damn potion printer. Of course, uh, developers went the complete opposite direction in Might and Magic 7 and just made alchemy, like crafting black potions for sure, just a waste of time. But you can find those in stores. And white potions, they're pretty alright. Enemies, you are... You are threatening my immersion. It is under siege. Please stop. The hell is this? Consortium here, this trio of rats living in the ether. I must free them from their eternal prisons. <laughs> Another one stuck. Hmm. I don't recall that happening in the base game. Wonder if that's like a GOG version thing? A gray face thing? Take care of that giant rat. Yippee. That's cute. You did your best, enemies. That bloodsucker scurries away. Oh, good. We teased you enough with the promise of being delivered from death. We're not done yet? What the hell is this dungeon? <laughs> you say that as someone who's played this damn video game. Just one last horde of rats, and then we're good. Spring break? Oh, they get stuck in the corner. They don't want to come out here to play. Nope. There we go. Huh? Who's a good rat? It could be you. That's unfortunate. I need help. You sure do. I don't have another means of restoring your HP. Starburst! We're indoors. Had to be careful. Either that I'm gonna have to backtrack and rest. What time of day is it? It's almost closing time. Eh? Got another one. Good. Cautious. Eh? This damn bend here. Wouldn't be so bad for the bend. Just go. Go. Walk back. I could probably resolve the enemies. Just with our knight. But now we'll just backtrack. It's fine. Whatever. We still have another side? What the hell? I don't remember Kyle Watch being this big. Why? No wonder they didn't do this in Might Magic 7. <laughs> Again, 
We still have some sort of, like, forge anvil area in the northeast that we'll get to later. We have this abandoned temple over here that we have some optional questing for as well. It's certainly not as big as Goblin Watch. Can we assist you? Give me this. 20 gold. How could you do this to me? Be with you. After everything we've been through together. My man! Can we assist you? Cure him. Be with you. Our fame is... It's doing alright. The volume of this orchestral piece for New Sorbagal <laughs> takes me aback a little. Alright. Let's delve once more into the bowels of every damn place these goblins tunneled to. Take 34. So there we were. Brave adventures. This channel is not for talking shit about Daggerfall. My most beloved role-playing game, the greatest of the Elder Scrolls games. This is a pro-Daggerfall zone. Where people are safe to congregate and extol the virtues of Daggerfall. It's not an April Fool's joke. Good. Aha. Aha. Sporax appears to be one of a large shipment of such axes seized by Roland during the Succession War. It was manufactured in Karagor by order of Archibald Iron Fist to be used against his brother in their struggle for the throne of Enra. Oh, Archibald. Alright. We've cleansed the section. We're just out here doing charity work for New Sorpagal at this point. Giving them the code, that was one thing. We got paid for that. Slather that band-aid on you. Slather a wizard eye down. Probably gonna recast less. Let's do that. Speed this up a little. I see you. Goblin attack speed, that's reasonable. That is an acceptable attack speed. These other attack speeds. Damn mouse pointer pointing at that enemy. Get over here. Blow them down. How dare. This dodging. <laughs> yes, you're catching up with me. I'm backpedaling. Wake up! Do not be frightened by that attack speed. Get out there. There you go. We got a ring for our trouble. Yippee. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Uh, what a fine ring it is. A fine waste of my time. These really bastards do a decent job of retreating as well. There in the distance. Little bloodsuckers. Let's bully them. Kingdom for Sparks. You know, we could have taken care of that grim. Look at them all. Hot suckers in my area. Swipe right for more details. to renew that brain suckers why gotta be like this why are they so fast we'll lose them we'll lose them in the twisted turns we didn't lose them in the twisted turns really get away from it Personal space. No, you wanted to fight me. Get back here. Now the archer is distressed. How can I work with this man? Look at his face. Unpleasant. Alright, let's go back to the undulating room. Maybe we'll finish clearing out this, uh, area. And hop into the tavern and have a nice sleep. We can look forward to that, dear adventures. I got that one. There we go. You don't need depth perception. I need you to stop moving down there, please. You're upsetting everyone. So, like... Okay. I played this game shortly after it came out. I beat this game. It's back in the 90s, but it happened. The last time I played this game was in the early 2000s. This playthrough, this broadcast, is a rediscovery of what's available in the video game, in a contrast to Might and Magic 7, which is featured extensively in local recordings and live streams. I understand how the video game works. And I have beheld, as it turns out, all of the dungeons in this video game. Hung out with JVC's corpse, printed money, obliterated things with the dragon sand. Got it! Aha. I get it. 
This broadcast doesn't want to go into spoilers, unlike, say, my Might Magic 7 stuff, because, well, I haven't featured this game before on the channel, and there will be details I don't remember, given it's been 18 years since I've played the video game. But there are certainly details I do recall, such as overall game size compared to 7. That's why it's going to be a running dialogue feature of the time I spend playing this game. And monster pack sizes, as this game heavily emphasizes those. Quickly, we now, I understand I'm going to attract a lot of folks uh, who are familiar with the game. And that's cool. In the case of Might and Magic 7, not really a big deal for participation as spoilers and backseating. That could fly out the wazoo. Like, what the hell are you going to tell me about that game? That I didn't already know or stumble across. Greetings and salutations! This one, as I haven't streamed this one before, and there's going to be a folks who haven't seen it before. Not too interested. As for, like, telling me how to play the game, I would have just rolled with three or four sorcerers if I wanted to blitz their things. I certainly wouldn't be hanging out here. I mean, flick. I could have had so many damn promotion quests right now, been level 20s, if not more. A ditch digger? What the hell do you do? Salutations. Are you kidding me right now, Irvin? <laughs> not here taking shit from a ditch digger? I have half a mind to attack you into oblivion right now. <laughs> Can we assist you? Stop looking like that. I'll be with you. All right. So, Goblin Watch. Yay. The 1700 apprentice magi out here, hanging out with Falagar, our old tutor. We're waiting on that. The abandoned temple. We're heading there next. Do I want to level up first? Since I'm not caring about the time scale at all, we'll see ya. We'll treat our adventurers to a nice, Nice stay at the tavern for the night. Hello, come on in. In keep? A room, please. So, magic is powerful throughout the Might and Magic games. And, uh, in the, uh, the trio that came out, six, seven, and eight, so close together. Uh, magic definitely outshines Might. Uh, the way it outshines Might in 6 is a strong reason why class limitations were placed uh, so strongly in 7, like with skills and how far people could train them up, and also where those skilled trainers were located. Uh, many fun things in Might Magic 7 are located in Nyon, because for a new player, it's... It's on the other side of the world. Like, how the hell does one even reach Nyon? In this video game? Uh, if you can learn a skill, you can kick ass at it. And so more so than the, uh, the joke goal marathon where I showed off, like, a cleric and three sorcerers with dark magic, just trap meddling everything, I hear you can get both light and dark magic. And so you have elemental magic in early game for really offensive power. Especially with, like, easy hit, like, area effect attacks to blitz through it, enemies. And then later on in the game, you've got access to a slew of buffs and... Rock Blast for physical damage, if something's, like, really resistant. And then your Armageddon for outside. Your Dragon Breath, Trap Metal for indoors. Go ahead and get a room for the night, please. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. 
A Lonely Night is the name of that tavern. I like it. It's a good name. Before I leave this town again, and I take my break, because I wanted to take a break after I finish Goblin Watch, let's head up here. We can head up here now. Members only. You son of a bitch. Alright, where's the membership at? I could have sworn I bought it, but I only bought a membership oh, for the, the self guild. Can't find your daughter. How are you today? We'll find her. How are you today? Alright. How are you today? <laughs> Harold, please. Closed. Hello. It's weird damn store hours. How are you? I dare that bard say that to me. You must not think I'm a big enough deal, and you know what? She's right, I'm not. They are. How are you today? There's uh there's some good art in this game. How are you? Hello. Now these are just like spell trainers. Closed. Which is fine. How are you today? It's also not the membership that I'm looking today? for. Hello. How are ya? You definitely don't sell it. Or with now frost at the mouth. No, not up here. Your perception and identify item. Your air magic expert. How are ya? Yes. Hello? Yes. You! Greetings and salutations. Sister April, teach me about alchemy. It's possible to create more complicated potions by mixing the simple potions together to create compound potions. Compound potions are stronger than simple potions that have slightly different effects. Teach me about treasure. All right. Herbert now fails to pathfind his way out of a wet paper bag. This and more available to you. Soon. Not soon. Excuse you, that is a scholar, not a teacher. Will not have you. <laughs> teacher is a different profession in this video game. Hello. <laughs> what? Did you side with the goblins? Or about goblin rights and goblin activism? They deserve the rampage across our roads and homesteads. As a matter of fact, everyone should have been butchered in this village. <laughs> Solved. Yes, I showed off the New World Computing Room. Hung around in Dragon Sand. Talked a little bit about it. Then promptly left. I am aware. The Easter egg in this game is certainly more involved than the one in seven. I'm going away now. I will not leave you with the Sorpogol music. I'm having my break. You know, that guy, I just existed. I'm an adventurer. People get upset about adventures. That's the way adventuring works. Be right back.
All right, I've gone ahead and re-enabled the, uh, the channel point redemptions. We've gone far enough now into this broadcast that it should be fine to rock those. I intended to, like, enable those after the first hour. Things just kind of happen. Got sucked into playing this video game. Then suddenly there you go. I also took the opportunity to just look and confirm where the fuck this <laughs> Elemental Guild membership seller was. Understandably. Next to the person who sells us the Elder Self membership. Walk right past the damn. Ah, thought I'd save myself the the time. <laughs> this damn love story, Doctor Simon. <laughs> Buddy cop film. Frigs for hire. I like it. Okay. Pop the sort the windows around a little bit. Do 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 do. Everything looks fine and good. We don't need that window open. Ah. So for those of you who might be watching who are entirely unfamiliar with uh, Might and Magic Six. Greetings and salutations. How you feeling? Kind of periodically played by giant spiders. Pretty sure that a spider queen were killed, the rest of the spiders would go away. Currently, I'm offering a reward to the person that can kill a spider. I just completely walked past this house multiple times. I'll get on with killing that uh, hate redemption as well. There we are. This talks a bit about the council members, who are basically in charge for the lords, who are theoretically in charge. The king would theoretically be in charge, but he's absent. Queen Catherine's absent. Nikolai is, uh, as a region. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Hate. Let me tell you how much I've come to hate you since I began to live. I could save in front of this building, but I already entered it anyway, so what the hell? Of fire, air, water, and earth. <laughs> There are 387.44 million miles of printed circuits and wafer thin layers that fill my complex. If the word hate was engraved on each nano angstrom of how disappointing this building is for me right now, it would not equal one one billionth of the hate I feel for humans at this micro instant. But you hate, hate. All right. Yeah. I don't think I want anything from here. I mean, the protections are fine. Magic arrow, I don't even know. Earth magic right now. I don't really feel inclined to pick that up at this time. I can always pick it up later. Alright, so that just didn't result in much of anything for us. There you go, of course, and stick to your guns. Don't let it get you again. I think the wells recharge sooner than, like, an area reset, like it would for, like, Might and Magic 7. A little rusty. I don't need you all to tell me one way or the other. We'll just keep checking. It's no big deal. Is there anything else I wanted to buy from the Guild of the... Self. Spirit, mind, and body. I'll roll that. That's a five, that guy. I have three more of these VIP badges to give out before I hit the 20 that I intended to give out with that, uh, Gentle Point Redemption. When I do that, uh, it's going away for good. Protection from poison, huh? Ooh, accuracy temporarily increases. I wonder how long that lasts. I guess I could buy it and try, huh? Arm I'm still not sold on. That porcelain. That's a three. 
Ring. To 18. Catch you folks in 10 minutes. Goldeneye? <laughs> Just set that die down. That's a two Goldeneye. That was close. I almost lost you the entire broadcast. Okay. Before I dive into um, the abandoned temple, I will be training. It's going to speed up the process. And again, the time spent. No big deal. Do you like selling this shit? Eh. It's no big deal, one way or the other. How about some training? I would love to train. Tell me more. Big fan of training. How about okay? Okay, okay, okay. Fluffy Wolfy, you got it. That's a three fluffy. Go ahead and pull up the recent uh request redemption thing. Just so I could have that. For viewers who are confused, that includes folks who are watching this VOD after the fact. I have a channel point redemption that uh, offers viewers a VIP badge if I roll a 20 out of 1d20. Otherwise, they get timed out for 10 minutes. If I roll a 1, they get timed out for 1,000 minutes. Closed. That's what's happening. Get that water magic. Hmm. What magic do I want to emphasize with self magic? Size with you, my knight, who's going to be picking up every damn miscellaneous skill under the sun and moon. Note, by the way, if you're coming to this from Light and Magic 7, that there's no Grandmaster in things. And as I've noted before, if you can learn a skill, you can master it. Making me really break down and laugh. That's good. That's good contribution. Let's pick up air next. Though that air uh, expert that's above me is going to be a little bit hard to reach without fly. You can pick up fire, I suppose. Yeah, I'll just have you take care of fires so if the sorcerer doesn't have to. Although I'll probably still do stuff with it later. I want you to, like, help with melee shit? Nah. That's fine. We'll hold off on G for the moment. What am I casting here? There's like a spirit magic expert and body magic expert Hello. right next to me. Yes? Okay. Give me spirit magic. Hello. Thanks. Okay. Now I don't have to cast less four times. I can just cast it once. Some strong stances, right? You like this laurel of crown? Laurel of crowns? Shoot myself. <laughs> and our stalwart individual here. Mighty. Imperious. Anything else that I want to increase? Intensifies. 
Okay. Pleased to meet you. Let's yeah. go ahead and grab that fire magic while we're here. That makes flame arrow cost one for you. So even though it, like, it's notoriously inaccurate, it still only costs one spell point. Yes. And your problem is spell points, Jowdoon. Let's see, the air magic person's a little bit difficult for me to, like, grab, as I noted. Even their location, I already used the fly scroll. The water magic expert is on, like, an island over here. I think I might be able to, like, hop up there, bunny hop, and, like, rub the door. There's no climbing, like, you know, Daggerfall, the glorious and incredibly awesome game known as Daggerfall. Bit of oddity happening there with the terrain. The terrain? Yeah, that's what we'll call that terrain. There are windmasters around here that I could speaking of. How are ya? Hey, could you could you just grab my hand, pull me up? <laughs> She's like, no, you're gonna have to pay me two thousand gold <laughs> if you wanna get to the skill trader. I'm like, well, son of a bitch. Fine. Have a look around. I will. Thank you. Give me these. Banker. Greetings and salutations. Oh, come on, Phyllis. I don't replace this factor. Looking for a come on. Damn it, Phyllis. How could you do this? After everything we could have been through together. <laughs> Come again. Don't touch the merchandise. This guy still tickled me. Don't touch the merchandise. Plus five hit points there on that crown. That's Come back soon. compelling. I got a bunch of money stocked away in the bank. Not hauling everything with me. You, find anything. you could. If you wanted. Take this ring. It's a fine ring, so the video game tells me. Oh, plus one hit point. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> plus five spell points. It's kind of like window shopping. Don't really feel like spending the gold on this stuff. I feel fine buying these herbs. Thanks. I had more potion of bottles. It's got three. One widow wheat berries. Can I help you find Pick up another one. Thanks. Come again. Thanks. You want Hello. cobra eggs? Now you're telling me about entertainment. I'm not here to amuse you. Hello. Get out of my face. Hello. What are you looking at? I'm hesitating on uh, leveling up sword here with the knight, because I'm not sure whether I want to do sword with him. I'm probably doing spear with the archer. Just fits in with sort of like how I use him in my magic seven. So we'll go ahead and grab spear now. That will be useful. Yeah. And the next trident we find, we'll go ahead and stuff into his hands. What are you looking at? Want to give these kids leather armor? No. They're so much stronger now, anyway. We're ready to go. Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations. Shipping Greetings from Rathia? Salutations. Be able to paint you need from your work? Wonder if there's a problem over there. Yeah. You know what? Greetings and salutations. Shit's pretty busy over there right now, as a matter of fact. Plus 10 might. Oh, we didn't renew that uh, for our second day of exploration oh, in. Goblin watch. Let me go ahead and pump in the uh, the guilds real quick. See if there's anything else I want to buy. I might pull money out of the bank. Magic of spirit, mind, and body. Mind blast. Lucky day. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, I am an expert in spirit magic now. Heals five to nine for three instead of five for two. Hmm. I don't feel like I want any more of those. Pam the Instructor, the Ditch Digger, the Armorer. I do enjoy, like, being able to walk up to townsfolk and ask them, like, stuff. Instead of just, hey, what's up, wanna join me? Like, meat flavor for, like, the area. Tips. And then, you know, if you want them to join, then you break into that. I also really like that there's guaranteed people of, like, professions in buildings that you can recruit in this video game. That's really nice. The magic of fire, air, water, and earth. Holy shit, it sparks. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. And a firebolt. Boss four. Anna. Rose. Casting cost is low? That <laughs> not for my archer. <laughs> Pick up sparks. Deadly swarm is an earth thing, we can pass on that. How much does Spark's cat cost? Alright. Best used in a room crowded with small monsters. Alright, before I go into the temple, one other thing. What can I do for you? Hi, bud. I'd like some of this money back, please. I could just. You could just. What can I do for you? I was hoping I could like finagle my way to like that what door up there. I just paid two thousand gold for the privilege of like getting up there. Boot the scholar out temporarily. Oh my money! I'll just be setting it on fire. What can I do for you? Fuck it. What's money for if not to set on fire? We could buy it in like. We could spend it in like gear or stuff. They could be like. I've already grabbed the scroll. It's gone now. Until I have that mapped out. Alright. Greetings. Come here. Dragons. Apprentice mages. What can I do for you? What? Try that again. Hello. Don't shoot me back there. Yes. Give me this. And uh, since I have the skill, let's just go ahead and fly out here to the island for water magic expert. Faligar lives in that house, by the way. That was our tutor who taught us for three years. Holy shit. Hi. There's a there's a lot of action out here, huh? As long as this fly lasts? A little bit. Greetings and salutations. Hey. I'd like this, please. Okay. Alright, so water now. Cool beam only costs one. Our sparks, if I choose to cast that, lays down five sparks. And our static charge only costs one now as well. Our wizard eye, when we cast it with, uh... Lexa, shows treasure. Oh, oh shit. He set the trap off? Damn. Why am I... Okay. <laughs> okay. 
So the Windmaster's not going to be up there anymore, so we're just going to leave those promotions what alone. How about you? that? We're just going to put those promotions away. We don't need those. <laughs> not promotions, but skill increases. Oh. Oh. Just got curb stomped. <laughs> Greetings. Hi. Gee, I am pleased to make your acquaintance. It's humorous, actually. Hello, Factor. Greetings. You don't have enough gold. Don't tell me that. I know I put all my money away. What can I do for you? No, that guy. Greetings and salutations. Something worth noting is that this game doesn't give you an are you sure you want to fire this person. So, start off with in Might and Magic 6. The, there are various towers, like overseeing towns, and they're kind of glitched out. So people who fly around town get shot at. Like fireballs. We've had some near-hit experiences already in the stream. Anyway, I'll just live without the air and water uh, expert. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> It's, it's convenient. The water magic, they do a great job of protecting that. The air magic, I just don't have the hops for. Be like a jump spell or something. Of course, if they sold fly here, I could still, like, grab it and learn it. It would just be really cruddy. That's something else that's different in this video game. Is, um... Like, you can pick up the spells and just cast them. But if you're not a good caster, they don't, like, Lloyd's Beacon won't last very long. Hello. Fine, Mohammed. Fine. All right. We'll just have to make do with the tools we have. It's probably fun. Like that expert wizard eye. I tried talking to a cartographer to get him to join, but uh fucking spiked me down. <laughs> Into the abandoned temple we go. One hell of a temple. You're like, oh this won't be much, and then scrap that. Our knight will be handling our disarming traps. Strange squeaking no echoes from behind the front doors. At one time, Temple of Ba, foul curse caused the old inhabitants to move away. I've got a bad feeling about this place. That me too. I also have a bad feeling. Hi, how's it going? Are we sure these are bats? Instead of like sky lamprey? Aha. By the way, I hope you're fine with being poisoned. Because uh Aha. that's happening. We got plenty of cobras in here, and I ain't talking about G.I. Joe. So, white liquid. Still luck? The barrels, though, only give plus ones, which is... gross, really. But got a cloak off that cobra. What the? Wait, wait.
The king! The king of kings! I need healing! You sure do! I do not have a cure poison. I'd have to mix one. Blue and red? Or I could just go to town? How about we just hold on to the poison for now? I know, and you can zoom this in and out too. Look at that. Look at that quality. Alright, I'm a level you folks. I am missing the, uh, the lack of uh, expertise in air and water. Straight up spiders. No tell, no kidding. This place is cursed, yeah. right? Well, I'll be damned, Derp excessive. Your wish has been granted. That's VIP eighteen. The 20 I've given out through that redemption. Aha. 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 Spell points already, too. I see y'all back there. Ready to menace me. Just fall from the sky? <laughs> Don't do that! Not even a matter of immersion, it's... Fright. Healer. Awkward. I need help. Awkward. What? Why did you all phase into reality? Why weren't you in there when I was looking in there? What happened? What? They all fell from the ceiling. What happened? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Knight, you must carry their bodies back to town. What the? What the fuck? It's fucking video game. Townsfolk, we have a situation here. Can we They're just fucking camping on the bridge, as one does. Good news, the money we made in there paid for our bills. I'll be with you. Bad news. You know? I guess, you know. They coexist peacefully. Maybe I am the bad person after all. What the hell? I didn't remember goblins appearing on that bridge after you came out of the, the Temple of Ba, the abandoned temple. That was, uh. That was nice. Anyway. Didn't really make a profit in there. Let's try that again. Need to recast bless. All right. Ah. 
Who the hell is that King Cobra at? Queen Cobra. Excuse. My apologies. Queen Cobra moves quickly. We may be in a problem. There you go. Hit G. G's got the HP. G can tank it. G also has all the armor class increasing things. Alright, any more Cobras want to appear out of our large bags and and buckets? Uh, got it. Uh. There's the candelabra. We could turn that in to fulfill that quest and help the Temple of Ba. Music in here is sufficiently menacing. Empty barrel. Okay. We've cleared out the initial, like, foyer and a few meeting rooms. Deeper and deeper into the bowels of El Diablo. Lights about to go. When it goes, it will get dark in here. I'm not an expert fire magic. Got that one. Stand there and tank it. You before? I appreciate it. A chest lobbing out sparks. Got it. Pirate cutlass. Nice. Uh, aha. Cold beam, flame arrow, protection from fire, spirit arrow. Get that cloak to someone. There you go. The scrolls I'm gonna sell. 3d4 versus 2d4 plus 5. Well, rather have that, thanks. And the extra plus 5 attack modifier. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Well, I'd rather have 2d9 plus 1 versus 3d4. We'll stick with the 2d9 plus 1. Yeah, she's poison. The spider's got her.
Something I need to get familiar with, and this is something that's added in Greyface, the idea of a treasure chest is overloaded. You can just click on it again, and the stuff, like, just, it also appears there. Something that I could have done with Might Magic 7 as well, it just, it's habit for me not to recheck this shit. Let's also go ahead and map this out. Uh -huh. I'm glad I did another Pirate Cutlass? Well, that's definitely better than the Spear. I'd rather take 2d4 plus 5 versus 2d9 plus 1 because of that extra to hit modifier. Thanks. So I had, uh, in the case of, like, self-magic, like, this first aid spell doesn't do really good with scaling. 5, 7, 10 hit points, like, what the hell are you supposed to do with that, right? And the spirit heal that we saw there, it's not good with scaling either. Hey, guess what? The torch light expired. Now oh, the bless is gone too. Got that one. Thank you, Bless. It's a noticeable light difference. Big Lugans! Delightful. I appreciate it. There's a King Cobra. And I saw that other enemy creeping around over there. But, uh, I'm out of wizard eye. I could fix that. Sure, we'll pop a potion. Thought I saw that. Almighty crown? It's yours. Enjoy. Not having expert wizard eye is uh, not highlighting treasure for me on the map, which is. Hello. Hi. Goblins have names or feelings by the evil. Help! I think I'm lost. I want to go home. Let's go ahead and haul this kid back. In a bit. We have more of the abandoned temple to explore. One hell of a door, right? Here's, uh, the playpen for the Temple of Ba. Uh -huh. Elven bow. We made by the elves of the Great Arathian Forest. These cages are interactable. A club? Sure, we'll take that. Fine, a club. Aha. Uh -huh. Wicked maze? Now nah, we don't need that. That elven bow, though, is uh, gonna go to you. Protection from poison, you say? Hmm. The cages, uh, they gave me loot. They also shot like a little trap, if you didn't hear that. That's what I looted them for. They do anything else? Ugh. We're out of here. I don't know how the hell that kid lived back here, though. Considering it's damn murder to get back here. <coughs> Maybe they were saving her for food. I guess. Rations. That's a little gold pile with a 
cut miss completely. Except I didn't, because I'm good. That's what happened there. Let loose of them cold beans, baby. I remember having a lot more trouble with this area when I was a kid. But I may have done this before that I did Dot Goblin Watch, and also I may have a better understanding of the idea of using Bless. Awkward. I did chose not to back up there. Let them come. Another poisoned ally. So many enemies in here, though. They don't have a range attack. Aha! That's good for us. It gives us a tactical advantage. He says, looking at the rock suspiciously. Eye patch looks like you on a Monday morning, huh? A lot of different paths coming from here. I'm gonna deliver that kid. We are low on spell points. Not with the cleric, though. These are large distances. I've got two bows equipped. They're decent bows. Able to keep enemies at a distance. Don't let those quick attack animations get off. Blitz these enemies before they rub your face. Got that one. Got that one. Use them big draw distances to your advantage. No, I still had the bless active. We just, we just whiffed there so many times. A teleporter? Okay. That works. <laughs> I accept. If you insist. Alright, kid. Take you all. Country Angelas take them home to their moms. A new sort of gold. What the hell now? With this temple. Why does it go? So damn far. Everyone. Mine's in the rock. It's no wonder. All this shit is so cursed. Then the Balrogs. Come from the depths. And all your people. Do get fucked. Any more goblins want to just teleport on the bridge? We good? We're good. Good. No. It's not. Probably want to cure them at the temple anyway to get rid of the poison. I mean, they're just gonna get poisoned more, right? Greetings 
and salutations. She's alive. Thank you so much for finding Angela. If I weren't so happy to see her, she'd be in a lot of trouble. Please take this reward for all you've done. Huzzah. We have a reputation of 49 now? Hmm. Did I accidentally shoot someone over there? When I kill those goblins? I don't know. If I did that, the town would be angry. Huh. I'm certainly not delivering the candelabra. Just picking, just holding the candelabra lowers your reputation. Hmm. Ah, yes, of course. The good goblins of legend. How could I not recognize them? Grimace said with a twinge of bitterness. Well, I was thinking about... changing some things, but I don't have the money. It's all in the bank. I can't get into my bank. The game closed. is... 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. How could it? That surf just wandering around doing God knows what. Care this poison. Get back in there. Can we assist you? No. I'll be with you. Can we assist you? No. There. I'm respectable. You see that? I'm a great member of this community. I gave a hundred gold pieces to the temple. You will respect me and address me accordingly. All right, let's go back in there. Put a guild of the spell points after I cast those spells. No big deal. So one of the reasons I could understand why they they did away with uh, these dungeon sizes and Might Magic 7s is because, really, they're cavernous. Just super cavernous. And because of the quick turnaround of the game, they just didn't have the time to add as many, like, nooks and crannies between 6 and 7. Or just other details around the maps in general. It certainly does give more value, though, to the idea of, like, sleeping in a tavern. Not a tavern, but, like, sleeping inside a dungeon. You know, making use of that food instead of just for traveling. Because you don't want to waddle all the way back out there. Or maybe you do. Do 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 do. So we took that path, and it took us to a teleporter, which took us back earlier in. I'll take this path now. I'll cast my bless whenever I. I'll just cast it now. I'm not comfortable enough with this game to go piloting around in exhaustion. As was the case with 7, and even then by the end I was... ...really tired. <laughs> in general. King Cobra. Hell of a queen who poisoned Xiao Dude again. 
burn through those spell points. Hi. Would have been nice to have sparks now, huh? <laughs> the chest instantly fragged. <laughs> Just... All right, two bows and a dream. <laughs> Got that one. It's like they were stuck on the terrain, but then I, like, entered their, I don't know, their zone of control. They just got unstuck all of a sudden. Pass. I'm good. Appreciate the offer, I'm good. We'll fight wisely. Utilize our range superiority. A lot of fucking damage. He doesn't have that many hit points, I guess. Can't hit for the rock. Got that one. It is now super night time. 9 p.m. The sun has set. Darkness reigns. I need healing. And she's poisoned too. Now. Oh. Cast bless. That's not what I meant to cast. These things happen sometimes. Grimoth, I swear to you, if you do that one more time. <laughs> okay. Triple bless. They don't stack like that, Grimoth. Be low on the spell points now. Can't get it off my screen! Why is it still there? My mouth's broken? It's obscuring my view of the gameplay. I have like a dead mouse pixel or something. So 
instead of being, like, really dense and packed full of goblins, these are just really spacious. But it certainly covers more area than Goblin Watch and, like, the, the tunnels beneath it. This also I would consider to be harder than Goblin Watch, uh, despite having enemies that, well, don't have a ranged attack. You get into melee with these enemies, they, uh, can fuck you up. I'll go ahead and use that to as well. Our adventures continue. Although, at this rate, I'm not going to be able to just dip out and have a snooze at the tavern. It would be nice to hit the inn up one more time, though. Not the inn, but the temple up before uh, it closes for the morning. It's not there anymore, for sure. Yes, I remember. I was there. There goes our torch light. Our wizard eye also went too. I feel uncomfortable wandering around these areas without wizard eye. I don't have a scroll of that, do I? Anyway, that's some cobra eggs. Got it. Uh, a battle axe. Ooh. A normal ring. Uh, a normal belt. A heavy egg of a large bird, a reptile, or monster. It'll take me a couple hours to run out. Fuck it. We'll just do another exploration of this. You have cure weakness, right? Yes, you do. Great. Wonder if it would have been quicker for me to hit that teleporter. I wonder what's going on with that stone over there. Did you follow me? No, we're good. Oh, shit. This is a thing, huh? Fuck me. Sus. I forgot this was a thing. I wonder if the teleporter takes me somewhere different or if that unlocked a path. Shit, I don't remember. We're walking out. You are welcome. Let's help it. Chrome Dome? Excuse you, that is a tiara around her head. We have G, Zhao Dun, Serena, and Alexa. G the Knight, Zhao Dun, and Archer, Serena, the Cleric, and Alexa Sorcerer. Oh, my NPCs? Ah! Chrome Dome. It's Marilyn the Banker. It's Orville Corvair the Scholar. I do like the name. It's a good name.
Okay. Let's fix these faces. Be our last dip into the temple. Before it closes for the day. Can the morning. You? Heal that. I don't think I need to heal that. I can just pop by these uh, wells. Yep. Alright. Torch light. Wizard eye. Let's go. One more dip. We've got plenty of cobra eggs. Uh, we got someone in town who's uh, interested in cobra eggs. We'll hand them over. I could uh, whip up a couple of potions, but I'll just get poisoned again. I do have a protection from poison scroll. How long does that last? Five hours. We just found that in here. What the hell will you do? Although an hour of that's going to burn off as I walk my ass back to the enemy. Hop, 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 Just such a fucking long trip. Again, I could sleep in here. But... They would be- they would stay poisoned. There might also be random encounters and shit. Oh, fuck me. Success. At least no one died from that. <laughs> That's what I get for taking a different route. Yes, I see you there, all angry and shit. Z levels, baby. Stones have reset. What could it mean? Secrets. Prizes. All of this and more could be yours. Cobras. Those could be yours too. No. There. You better run. I may not have that air and uh, water expert like I could have right now. But you didn't poison me. Got that one. Protection from poison. Woo! Plus 15. I get everything in here that I wanted? As far as I can see. What the hell is this area? Forgot to uh cast that bless. Got that one. Hello, they're above me. There's our huge spider. I think that's our spider queen. That uh we're supposed to fetch that spider heart for for another quest. For new Sorbagal. Me and 1700 of my best spider bros. Above me. No, that was not. That means there's a more perilous spider out there. Comforting. Enemies, I'm gonna need you to stop lurking up there right now, okay? I need help. Help! Oh. help. I need help. These games have high system requirements. Wasn't an issue for me. I know some folks who didn't have powerful enough computers to run them. I don't think they were exorbitant. 
Like, this game came out in 1998. Got that one. Nope, there's just a normal, regular, run-of-the-mill giant spider. There's your queen. She's your queen to be. <laughs> I do recall seeing her, though, before I banged hard left. Hi. I don't want to be here. I don't have to... I don't have to take melee damage from you. A bloody trophy of the Wicked Spider Queen. There we go. Look at us solving problems here in New Sorbigal. I still haven't left the first fucking settlement. Just out here. Doing work. Putting in the time. We good back here? Ish? Ish? Sus. Got it! Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Mm. All right. Not a bad haul of stuff. We got ourselves another Thunder Mace. Got ourselves a Mage Dagger of Cold. A proper dagger into that damn short sword, really. We have that Ring of... Plus 9 Intellect. Go ahead and put that on there. So our caster has some more spell points. A Spirit Shield. Pretty nifty. Still Chainmail Precision, no one can wear that right now. This club... Okay. Right. Pretty decent overall. Pretty damn decent. Let's go ahead and rub that teleporter now. Well, damn if that ain't just the most convenientest thing ever, except for the fact that... Oh, boy. But... 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 Alright, we're gonna load. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! That way you all can hear the ho again. I don't actually want to take that teleporter. We have other stuff to do back here. I do not want to walk all the way back. Thanks. Aru Yaru, I'm gonna shoot you in the face. <laughs> No, that's... no. No, the ends do not justify the means. <laughs> Bad. Yes, leveling in this video game can be a matter of, uh, not the XP, but the GP. That's a room. I like it. I mean, I hate it. But I like it. <laughs> Did 
trying to bargain with me? Just a little bit. Come on. Come on. It can just be a little bit, you know? It doesn't have to be the whole thing. Just a little. I mentioned this in Goblin Watch, the idea of, like, wanting to have enemies with range attacks to mix it up a bit. Otherwise, it's easier to bully your enemies. Case in point. Now, if they get me in melee... Got that one. We have situations. And I certainly can't backpedal quicker than they can charge me. But uh, doing that turn-based combat so they remain still? So they can't just dodge your shot? And you still might miss with the attack roll. Pretty nifty. And I've already shown off what it is to engage these enemies in melee and how quick their attack animations can be. Got another chest over here. I don't think it's trapped. Presumably these enemies would have died otherwise. Got it! I meant as in like trap with like sparks coming out of every orifice. Wanda flame. And another teleporter. Where does this one go? Here. Oh, give me a moment, dogs are upset. All right, we're good. What could the stones mean? We're just gonna let it go. Could they mean anything? Could they mean everything? Again, let it go. We're leaving now. Goodbye. It's almost 5 a.m. Abandoned temple. A curse befell it. I don't see what the problem is, man. Really? Right here. Uh, uh, how overcast it is. Gloomy. All right. what I'm gonna do. Dismiss the scholar. Pick up a merchant for selling the stuff. Dismiss the merchant. Grab a windmaster. Grab my air expert and water expert. That would have been useful before doing that temple, but we saw what happened. <laughs> that told a story. Provided the windmaster that we find wants to join up with us. These things happen. First off, we'll have to wait for a little bit of time to pass before the store is open. I'll have to find a merchant. We're going to dismiss the scholar, because uh, he's guaranteed he'll come back in a house. 
selling shit. All right, you join me? Greetings and salutations. Haven't heard anything good about me. Come on, lady. Our reputation just dropped a little bit there before re below respected. Just bled out a little bit. Like me, I'm bleeding out right now. Hold on, let me turn to this quest. Hey. Greetings and salutations. What a gruesome trophy. This heart proves you defeated the wicked spider queen. Hopefully now the spiders won't plague new supergirl anymore. Here's the reward I promised. It did not increase my reputation, just increased my fame. Hey. Can we assist you? There, another tithe. You here have totally heard of me. I did not need a tie of 20 gold to get up the two rep, but damn it, I did. Don't you walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Greetings and salutations. Yeah, I will. I will cut you down. <laughs> hey. Greetings and salutations. There you go. That'll pay for my bills. Closed. All right. Can't believe I've been so thoroughly disrespected by the the peasants of this video game. I say, you look a bit like I don't give a fuck about you. Hmm? <laughs> well, that's good. Let's try this again. Loading. Farmer, Pathfinder, Fool, that's pay. Cobbler, Barrister, I guess I could go with a duper too. Not picky. I'm not a traitor though, I, I, am, I am that picky. A Miller, Teacher, Cobbler, Rustler. Smith, Farmer, Cook, Sailor. Carpenter, Pathfinder, Gate Master, Weaver, Potter, these motherfuckers, Alchemist, Beggar, Scribe, Laborer. I'll give you something to labor over. Duper. All right. Your reputation's too high for this duper. Greetings and salutations. Roland. Don't tell anyone I told you this, but Roland isn't dead. He simply needed a vacation from all the pressures of being king. He's hiding away in Abdul's Resort Isle under a false name. Abdul's Resort Isle is a dragon sand. Protection services. Yes, 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 yes. Join. Lots of people could be talked out of stuff they would never give up if they thought about it. The trick is to talk fast and don't let them pause to consider what you're really saying. Eight points. Yes. Yes. We've identified everything, right? Yes. Greetings and salut. Hello. Join me. The banker looks on disprovingly. It's a perfect. Like, really? That's what we're dealing with right here, right now? Unbefucking leakable. While I wait for stores to open. Close. Ah, oh, fuck it. Let's just hang out. Enjoy the music. So, I'm gonna get my Windmaster, who's gonna want to join me. We're gonna go to get those expertises I wanted. I don't know if I'm gonna lay waste to these uh, Magi that are out here. All 1,700 of them. We can always come back for them. And we're done with Dusorbuckle. For now. All right, what among this shit I, do I want to keep? So tired that I couldn't even sleep. So many secrets I couldn't keep. Now, I want to keep that shield. It's a nice shield. There are many shields like it. Put that over here. I can go live there. Everything else? Guess I can keep that too. I'm eventually going to give you chain when we get to Castle Iron Fist. He said, thinking that was so. Open up! Open up! Ah! Looking for a weapon? 
No! Take it! I could have anyone sell this. I haven't had anyone put points in the merchant. We just have our duper with us. I guess I'm building a habit of just shuffling the items over. I guess that's fine. Keep one of those. Alright, great. These are the same. Ah, well. They're fairly accessible. Even if you don't use uh, Greyface. Though, uh, if for nothing else, the convenience of being able to window this uh, without having any sort of bizarre mouse flickering like I've had in my previous window hacking. The seven. Don't touch the merchandise. Don't touch the merchandise. Just give me the merchandise. Give me the goods. Fine. They're yours. Enjoy. Have fun. Come back soon. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Have a look around. Right. They already cleaned you out, sir. I was able to train to level five now. Oh yeah. We're we're ready. Closed. How dare this bank not open? Well, you're not gonna open up until Close. eight, right? The wrong key. An hour, an hour. Can I help you find anything? Yes. Help me find your money. Bye. Don't want to sell any of this. The Awaken and Starburst. We'll keep those. Can I help Do I want anything you from anything? you? Ocean bottles, perhaps. Protection. Resistance. They're pretty cheap. I could use the extra bottles. We can finagle around some recipes. Yeah, yeah, okay. We'll buy them. Give them here. I will pay exorbitant rates just for these potion bottles. <laughs> One more hour for the bank. That said, I do have enough cash on hand now. I can check the duper out. We'll go hunting for a Windmaster again. Oh, hold on. Let me take a look at how disappointing this is going to be over here. Pretty sure it's the same stock, like everything else is the same stock. No time has passed. The magic of fire, air, water, and earth. Magic of go fuck yourself, Jeremy. You can have that one. You deserve that one. I appreciate the the amount of effort you have been putting into all of the <laughs> all of the work you've been putting in. <laughs> I'm gonna help you take a break there. Oh, how many stuff? So I guess I'm not getting them. Problem solved. Alright. Let's go looking for this again. A Windmaster who will actually want to talk to me. Instead of swatting me down. My reputation has. Right, it's the Seduper. Right, 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 right. Okay. We're just saving this slot. Let's go looking for Windmaster. We've seen him before around town. They've talked to me sometimes. It would be convenient. Oh, for me to get to the air magic expert that's up there. I'm willing to pay the exorbitant rate to do that, just... Also the water magic expert. 
Just take care of it for me before I go to Castle Iron Fist, because I definitely want that stuff before I go to the next area. Otherwise, I'm going to be hopping around a little bit. It is Friday, yes? Need a ride? Okay, good. Well, that means I'm going to get the Castle Iron Fist on Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Okay. Well, you insist. Yeah, I picked up eight during that sale. I already had one through six, and obviously already had seven. Apologies for the uh, the time this is consuming here. Had I uh, just not fucked around with that damn chest on that island. We would have already had this shit, and it would have been easier for me to clear the abandoned temple. But I fucked around and found out. Sometimes that happens. You ever fucked around before and then promptly found out? Me too. Why are there so many damn people? Why are some of them useless? Of course, I'm gonna find the person, and then even if I fire the duper, she won't want to talk to me, and then I will... ...be enraged. Let me eat this apple to feel better about my life. Then loads so that the apple comes back. Rest well, Galaxy Dude. Take care. as I put the audience to sleep. Killer would appreciate it. So, Might and Magic 9, um... Gate Master. Gee. I watched Captain Clever play that some years back. You won't be able to find that. He didn't highlight that stuff. There's a Windmaster. Uh, he's someone who speed ran uh, Might Magic 7 before. And, uh, gee. What a. What a clusterfuck that game is. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Oh, for fuck's sake, Jay. Why you gotta be like that? I'm respectable. Damn it. Making this even harder, I mean. Yeah, that's the first Ubi, like, Ubisoft one. It's, um... Hey! Greetings and salutations! Hey! How you doing? Hello? Hey! Same name as that other lady! Yes! Oh, yeah, she talks about the Dragon Towers, too. The old Dragon Towers built to protect the towns from flying creatures, but they'll shoot down anything within their range that's flying. Like us. Greetings. Okay. Grab this. Let's not fuck this up. Hey. Hey, no blowing people up. Let me go ahead and grab some spell points Can in here. You? Grab some spell points here, too. I'll be with you. All right, now I got a limited amount of time. Hour and 49 minutes, so let's just get our shit out of here and go. Now we can see treasure, including the treasure I may have left behind in the abandoned temple. It's fine, don't worry about it. We'll find more loot and prizes. Bunch of herbs and spices. Hello, barrister. Lord only knows how you're doing on this island. That's actually not Hello. the island I'm looking for. Here's Falagar. This is our advisor. The one who saved us from Sweetwater, the one who's been training us for three years. A great spell when running errands. Lloyd's Beacon allows you to set up beacons that you can teleport back to. Really is nice. Though the beacons don't last forever, we'll probably find them as long as the job done. And advice. Hello again, my pupils. I'm afraid there is nothing more I can teach you. Your experiences must guide you from this point on. I know nothing more than you do about the devils that destroyed Sweetwater, but I know who you need to ask. The Oracle in Freehaven will know what to do to rid in Inroth of the terrible devils. Unfortunately, you'll need the approval of the six High Council members, each of which represents one of the Lords of Inroth. You must do whatever necessary to speak to the Oracle in Freehaven and rid Inroth of the devils. Alright, let's go back over to this island hell again. 
You know, we had so much fun here last time. Greetings and salutations. Yes. We'll take that now. Thanks. No, I'm good. I'm good. Fucking good. Don't need to be fried by lightning. Super good. Paid 2,000 gold surcharge to be flown around like that. Okay. I do get to keep Fly after dismissing her. Delightful. Let's go ahead and activate this trap. See how bullshit this is? Greetings. Well, I uh, pick the Scholar back up. And fucking out I go. I could have picked up a Horseman to have a quicker travel. We'll just ha leave that fun there for the next time. I want to come pick up that guaranteed skeleton. <laughs> a little bit of excitement for myself. You know, you know how it is, right? Gonna have some fun. Laugh in the face of danger. Damn you, Dragon Tower. Anything else I want to do? Uh, one more time. We'll show this off. We're here at Dragon Sand now. There are dragons here. As seen here. Dragons. This is their sand. Here's an altar that raises your stats. To the left is New World Computing. Here's New World Computing. Where are we? We can visit with the creators of this video game. We can slay JVC. We can find stuff. You want just phantom cloaks? They're yours. JVC is a goblin. We can go crush him. Oh, well, there's Trip Hopkins. How dare you. Wake up. Hats. Chainmail, royal chainmail, you know, just laying around there. Beautiful. Here's the gold machine. Up to 10,000. Five digits. There's JVZ. Nah, I'm good. Promise. Ultra good. No, he's haunting me and hunting me simultaneously. Help. What have I unleashed? There we go. Other stuff to do around here as well. I forget where exactly our potion maker is. Our potion printing machine. But it's in here. Here we go. There's some food. You want some food? Maybe get some sick along the way? How about some empty potion bottles? Yeah, I would love these. I would love all of these. Yes. I would. Beautiful. How about... Just actual potions that we can print out that we could have? What do you mean we could say... I don't know. I think about it really hard. If I... Make a stone skin. Success. Then make an essence of intellect. Adds 15 to intellect and subtracts 5 from might permanently. Bam! It's yours, my friend. All the potions you could ever want for all the black potion crafting you could want. Nice. Aha! Day of the gods. This day is their day. Alright, well, that's enough of this. All right. Plate armor. How do you do? We're done. Let's load the autosave. Oh, no, we can't load the autosave. We have to load my test back here. Or activated that. 
Greetings. Who is over here? Hello. Ah. Healer. I already checked that crate. Well, let's just go ahead and aggro these guys before we go. Again, Might Magic, uh, Heroes of... Let's try that again. Might Magic 6 Mandate of Heaven likes to do a lot of teleporting enemies on you. It's rude. Not a fan. But... It's how the game be. Let's pick up some of these herbs that are laying around here. Maybe we'll actually keep better care of our potion vials instead of mazel toving them all the damn time. <laughs> Close. I was reading chat. No. They did not. There's only six to choose from anyway. And, uh... Class differences are... Well, it's different in this video game. We'll put it like that. It's just different. Kill a couple of these enemies that are lurking around here. Old time's sake, you know. I'm asking myself again whether I want to train before hitting the road, but no, I want to get to Castle Iron Fist on Sunday. Legend of Grimrock games don't interest me that much. I've looked at them and I've watched, uh, I watched some folks explore them. This doesn't really do it for me. Okay. That's enough goofing around. How many hours of this broadcast am I? Four and a half. I believe four hours into the gameplay. I get caught on things and have the damn tower blow me up. Scholar and a banker. It's a nice mix of dudes. Let's go. Need a ride? I do. Hitch up the horses. Hi. So. Here we are. The illustrious castle Iron Fist that was fought over so much and for so long. We're here. It's up there. Greetings. Greetings. The only way to get someone to teach you how to properly wear plate armor short of a four-year stint in the Iron Army is to join the Berserker's Fury Mercenary Guild. Thank you. Times are tough and the banks have stopped giving interest payments as deposit recently. Don't expect anything but security when you put your money in the bank. Interest is a thing of the past. The dragoons that have been plaguing the roads around here recently stole a harp of mine from one of my caravans. I'm not strong enough to get it back from them, but I'm willing to pay someone capable to do it for me. Find the harp and return it, and I'll reward you. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Hello. All right. I doubt you would approve of my researches into the dark of magics. Just I would not approve of your intolerant ways. I mean, okay. Ready to learn something new? Yes. Is that emphatic enough? Yes. Yes! That will be useful. Yes! Now everyone has a bow. This game is over. <laughs> that will be useful. That will be useful. Bam! 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 Bigelow. Beep. Ready to learn something new? You can learn shield, huh? Yeah. Oh, you are a cleric. Yeah, that makes sense. I want to give you shield. I would. Ready to learn something new? Oh, hmm. But you already have it. I'm done. That will be useful. Here. Take it. You can use the armor right now. 
I thought you could learn chain. Ready to Can learn you not? Something new. That will be useful. <laughs> Hasn't been that long of a broadcast, Grimmis. Come on. Please, Grim. Please. Don't touch the merchandise. Look at this enchanted leather of thought. Enchanted leather of recovery. Increased rate of recovery. Wonder by how much. I don't know the answer to that. Very nice. Wonder how much of a modifier this. Let me look at a uh, Grayface's mechanics page. Does it have like a recovery thing on here for like gear? Does not. Oh, increases rate of recovery enchantment at the bottom. This ench this enchantment was supposed to make recovery 1.5 times bigger. That's a huge bonus. But due to rounding, it doesn't work on today's computers. <laughs> Shit. Due to rounding, it doesn't work on today's computer. In my MM6 patch, it works. It increases recovery rate by 10%. All right, as opposed to 1.5 times bigger. Increase recovery rate by 10%. Okay. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Hold off on buying that. Looking for a weapon? Maybe. You do have bows. You do have bows. Ken the sailor. Karen the merchant. Fucking Karen. Looking for a weapon? Greetings and salutations. Expert bowmanship from Helen Teal, Desmond Weller. The master of the bow. Need to talk to Desmond Weller in Kriegspire. Then we have mental attacks. You're facing an opponent that can't be put down with direct damage spells. Try a mental attack spell or something that frees them in place. That's often get warriors in your group. Time to pound the enemy into the ground. The seer lives in a hut on a mountain near the source of the Silver River that runs from Steel Mountains past Castle. What a fucking title. Mine Guild membership. Pick that up. Thank you. Hello, come on in. Here's our King's Crown Inn. I miss my flying. We have a couple of boats out here. We didn't visit the boat in New Serpical. The Zephyr tells us to come back another day. It is Sunday. I didn't uh, pop at the stables. We will. And the Queen Catherine. A name's already taken. I can't believe this. Gone on over here. Hey, I'm done. Hello. Devils. Devils running about a Bruin blighted landscape west of Blackshire, killing any humans they ran across. Temple of Ba. What's up? How are ya? Expert plate armor training. You'll get more benefit from a magical effect or reward that increases your level directly later in your life because of this rule. That's right. In this video game, there are magical effects and rewards that increase your level directly rather than just XP. Castle Temper, one of the head paladins in Inroth, teaches Master Blade. How are you? There's Chain, Rich Hamburg here. Look at that. Look at that face. Not like wearing a heavy coat, that's for sure. Darkmoor is the home of David Feather. Greetings. Expert leather armor. Castle Stone, are you shield? Pleased to meet you. You sure are. Blackshire. Okay. You see there's enemies already. Those enemies are folks who are on the road. They're waiting for you as soon as you leave. They're like, hi. Need a ride? Anyway, travel to the arena. I mean, how could one say no? Let's come up here first. There's folks to visit. Say howdy. Visit with the locals. Touch the merchandise. 
everything we're not supposed to. How are you today? Identification expertise? Hello. Disarm trap? Yeah, that sounds useful. So much of the treasure of the land in the is in the hands of monsters and criminals, and they have been getting very clever with their traps. Okay. Gabe Lester. Teaching his craft near Castle Stone. The greatest trap disarmer. Keep up keeping that in mind. There we go. Greetings and salutations. Expert axe fighter. Roast hey, Ryan. Go roast thieves. Roast Maybe I can thieves. trade that, you know. I'll see if they accept this. And then uh, they'll look at it and they'll say, Sorry, Griveth, I don't take credit. Nice shiny blades in here. We're already pretty good on blades. Yeah, we've already got a couple pirate cutlasses. No two-handers, though. Some zvi-handers. Low quality, though. No to hit. No to hit bonus. Hey, look at the train. There's our royal gymnasium. Look at that zoom in. Something you can't do in this uh, one is right mouse button over buildings to have them report back what they are. It's a feature I miss. Like it on the castle wall. Cause some mischief, mayhem. Right. <clears throat> oh, we took fall damage from that. Finest armor in the land. You fucking kidding me? Some plate armor. Some fancy dragon leather. Resistant to diseases. Nice helmet. Half made from the skull of the ferocious Mogred beast. They're approaching extinction. Their gauntlets exist in Might and Magic 7. Mind, the magic of knowledge. I wanted to find the bank before I go uh, diving into these places. I have some money to extract. See anything you like? Yes. Less six hours. What the fuck? Alicorn wand of fireballs, huh? I have familiarity. Ooh, a couple just empty. I mean, they're not empty. Well, they could be empty. We'll pick them up. We can empty those. Thanks. Come again. Maybe I will. Service. Live long and prosper. Yes, live long and prosper. How are you today? Expert bodybuilding. Forget what uh, that well increases, How if anything. Master of the spear. We were told about Bishop Inquisitorio. Prince Nikolai shows incredible perception and creativity for his young age, much like his father did. I don't think people give him enough credit. They're more concerned with his age than ability. Join the Spirit Guild. Invest in a Raise Dead or Resurrection spell purchased by the friendly folks at, at the Guild of Spirit Magic. Act now and set your mind at ease. Too kind. That will does nothing. Very well. Hello. I did not. I didn't. I didn't mean it. <laughs> Rockland, former king of the Dwarves, has been deposed by a dwarf named Snurgle. Snurgle renamed the mines and caverns formerly operated by Rockland to, predictably, Snurgle's Mine and Snurgle's Caverns. Ah. Huh. Thank right. you. Y'all not have a bank here? Well, shit, now I feel awkward having left that money in. Fuck. What if they had a bank here? You need to withdraw that. Oh, damn it. I guess I ain't buying anything from these fucking guilds. I guess I gotta earn money around here on this map. Also, oh, who goes there? Prent Regent Wilbert Humphrey, foremost paladin and Prince Nikolai of Iron Fist, heir to the throne of Enroth, both reside in this castle. Master Nikolai Iron Fist, prince and heir to the throne of Enroth. Howdy. So I got a letter. You might be interested. Thank you so much for bringing me these letters. Wilbur begins reading the letters. I've been so worried. Yes, yeah, so he never got the letters because of the traitor. So this is a reveal for him. I've been so worried. I see. This is not good news. 
Oh no, traitors! Traitors and conspirators everywhere! I must organize an expedition at once. I trust you will not speak to the prince about these letters. He is already too depressed and unhappy to hear more bad news. And now I must see to the organization of the expedition. Here is a bag of gold as a reward. You've earned it and my gratitude. Now if only I could find someone to finish looking for Lord Kilburn. So you wouldn't happen to be interested in taking a little detail for me, would you? Lord Kilburn disappeared near Blackshire. Find out what you can and return to me with the information. It is true that he has been slain by devils. Return his shield to me if at all possible. I will grant you my favor at the High Council should you require it. And rest assured, your compensation will be generous. Hey, kid! The palace is deadly dull and everyone tells me what to do. Being royalty isn't really worth much, and no one will let me go outside the walls while my father is gone. I haven't left the castle for months. Anyway, you people look pretty important. What if you help me sneak out and stay with you for a couple of days? I can't give you much in return yet, but I'll owe you a favor. Someday I'll be able to repay you. I am the prince, after all. I'll go out the secret door and meet you outside. I forgot the fucking kid did this. That text over there. Yep. Oh. Oh boy. Let's go see the circus. Everyone says that my uncle Archibald wasn't a very nice person. That he almost usurped the throne from my father, but we defeated him. Father had Tanir turn him into stone and then locked him in the library. No one's been in there for years. So yeah, I just have the Regent of Inroth with me, and he wants to go see. The circus. You know, just fucking sneaks out. <laughs> I mean, he's not like the regent, like Wilbert Humphrey is. Like, Prince Nikolai is the heir to the throne of Inroth. My bad. My bad, I misspoke. I said, we don't have the regent. We have Roland and Catherine's kid. <laughs> Here we go. That's better. <laughs> Be gone, you rebel scum. <laughs> what the fuck did you just say to me? Halt! Who goes there? Be gone, you rebel scum. <laughs> Be gone, you rabble scum. Well then, let's go ahead and hide the kid. Shh. Mind, the magic of knowledge. All right, what you got? Cure paralysis? That seems pretty good. What you got, huh? That's what we're working with, huh? Alright, yeah. Cure paralysis. And maybe some meditation along the way. Spirit, the magic of life. What you got for us? Guardian Angel sets up a compact with the higher powers to resurrect your characters and return them to the last temple you visited upon their deaths. Uh, how about instead of losing all of your gold when you die, how about half? You pay half? Heroism? That's good. I like heroism. That's good stuff, heroism. Let's shoot that into our veins. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay. Body, the magic of healing. Action from poison, harm, cure poison. Well, that'll be useful. A cure wound spell? A straight up cure wound spell? Say no more. Yes. Yes. Now, I neglected to hit up the body magic expert when I was a new Sorphical because I wanted to come here.
All right. So long as I use Cure Poison super quick. We've got it. And now with Cure Wounds, we have a scaling heal spell. Doesn't scale great, but damn it, it scales. Isn't that what really matters? See anything you like? Right, we're in here again. What did I want from here? I was like, ooh, potions. Cardinal Cloak! Ooh, not chanted, but ooh, ooh. Mind, the magic of knowledge. So I wanted to buy... Cure Paralysis. I shall. Yes. It could be helpful to have, like, a duper before I engage in these purchases, but I don't... Like, I don't want to do, like, NPC shuffling again. It's got to be what it is. All right. No bank here in Castle uh, Iron Fist. Well, damn. Sometimes the memory just goes poof, right? You're like, well, shit, I thought there was a... I thought there was one of them there banks here. Oh. Oh. Mm. <sighs> Sleepy Grimoth. Guess our money's just got to be super safe and secure. Not gathering interest. We'll be, uh, we'll be to a bank at some point. Our money will just have to be safe. Anyway, there's plenty of enemies to party around here, and I did just, like, rub a accuracy and speed buff. Let's go to the... Let's go to the arena. Yes, Mr. Iron Fist. Uh, the doctor will see you now. Need a ride? I do. Hitch up the horses. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, right? It's good. Don't worry about it. He totally didn't go run off to join the circus. Don't worry. You can probably worry. This fight should be relatively okay because we're low level. Even though I'm about to scale it up in a way I probably shouldn't. As you know, I'm, uh, kind of reckless like that. Forty spell points. All right. Okay. Greetings. What? Welcome to the arena of life and death. Skeletons, peasants, a couple cannibals, a cut purse. Ooh, I forgot how good this music was. That really is good. <laughs> Can't believe peasants are being thrown at me in this fucking arena. <laughs> Clean up the, uh, 
the debris. They don't drop any gold, but we'll clean it up for them in here. That way I can enjoy this music some more. Fifteen hundred gold. That is actually eighteen hundred gold. Followers took two hundred seventy. Thanks, banker. Yeah. Oh, I left one more body behind. One Lord Arena victories. Yep. What a lord I am. <laughs> I'll let this music keep playing. Nope. Give me a moment. Time. Was a really pleasant, uh, pleasant fight in the arena. Must say. It only takes one day to travel here, too, in Might Magic 6. Doesn't even take a day to travel back! God, the arena in Might Magic 6 is so much nicer. It's an instantaneous, like, travel. Bam! That's good shit. Let's not step on these platforms just yet. Let's take our plus 10 accuracy and plus 10 speed. May we be of service? Yeah. You can be. Thanks. Is that good enough? No, let's... Take some care here. Damn kid. We didn't kidnap him. Honest engines. <laughs> it's, it's cool. Okay, that didn't do anything. Does this one do? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm glad there's just active teleporters in Castle Iron Fist that do this, by the way. That's good, right? That's good. That's a thing that's good, right? It worked. We all acknowledge the goodness of that, right? I'm loading the game now. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm not loading the game. We're fine. Did really uh, get off a whole lot of my magic, though. I got teleported into hell. Yeah, I hope Nikolai doesn't ever fucking walk on that, right? Don't worry about it, it's fine. No big deal. Be not alarmed. Our blessing heroism expired right as we walked in there, too. Let's. We're going back out there. Don't mind all that magic being flown at me. It's cool. Flown at me? Flung at me? Whatever. -y. I don't have a feather fall, do I? No. Alright, just thought I'd check. Oh. 
seemed like a good thing to check. Glad I did. Fucking come up here. Bet you won't. You did. Now I have, like, some breathing room. Sort of, like, try and dodge around and pray. Fling those sparks down. Let's go teleport back. Try not to die. There we go. Yeah, you know, just walk out the fucking castle. May we be of service? Live long and prosper. We certainly paid a uh, a fee. That's for sure. For this clearing, but you know, it's happening. What a, what a what a useful statement that was. It's happening. Oh shit. Get out of my way. Dodge a little. Heal up the sorcerer. <laughs> okay. okay. Alright, never mind. We're not going through it. It's just a terrible place. There's a lot more enemies in there than I thought. We had our fun. Let's actually do something more reasonable now. Alright. Okay. Well, I didn't accept that death. What death will I accept? I guess not that one. Intersault. Good talk. Good to feed these enemies on the road here. Just some followers of Ba. All right. Okay. You wanna wanna party? When it's time to party, we will party hard. <laughs> Dude, you don't have your lizard man support. Not so bad. Gotta watch those sparks in town. Yes, okay. Do 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 do. You, you work all night. <laughs> See, and these these gen individuals have reasonable attack speeds too. The lizards. They're the real damage dealers. Now, there were enough uh, ranged, like, mystics out there as well that were dealing damage. 
in that sort of teleported obelisk clusterfuck. Down, down, down. Feel that recovery time. Again, though, an active teleporter just outside Castle Iron Fist has all of that shit, right? Remarkable. There's not even like a sticky note on it, like, do not go through this. <laughs> it just fucking is. Like, what the fuck, man? Oh, long ago. Aha. Aha. Not doing too bad for being level three. I didn't level up uh, before I left New Sorpical. I guess I ain't leveling up right now. Got that one. The training facility is at the castle. <laughs> Need a bit of a walk, though. I think I can make it there before it closes. Presuming it closes at 5, and not 4. I think prices... I don't know how training prices are handled, like, between, like, area to area. Compared to Might and Magic 7. Considering how pricey training can get in this game. Ah, fuck it. We just won't train today. I don't know, though. I might want to go back to town. There's a, a lot of people out here. And, uh, my buffs have just expired. Ah! Serpentine! All right, time it. Uh, Ow. Ate that. Got that one. Got that one. Got that one. Damn, Lizardman. Over here. The Dragoon's Caverns. Original name of these caverns has been lost in time. Now it is named for the group of bandits that base their operations from it. We did have a quest to come here. To find a harp. Get your ass over here. Quit scaling them damn cliff faces. We don't always come back for those bodies. <laughs> you? Everyone who follows Ba is a swarthy, wizened man. <laughs> the staff. I see you enemies down there creeping up as I'm just doing something reasonable and you can't even keep this path safe. What the hell has happened to Inra? Oh, it's the mandate of heaven, Griffith. You wouldn't understand. Oh, the mandate. Well done. Well done. Well done. Um, how much control do I have? I give them the precise order of what it is that they attack. If I so choose, uh, what spell they cast. I have a quick attack hotkey, in which case the, the, um, the party prioritizes the closest person, or what I'm pointing out, the mouse pointer. Anyway, our level has just been double there from three to six.
thinking about what I want to grab here. In regards to, like specializations. I might have the archer cover Earth for now. Man, expert leather doesn't even eliminate the recovery penalty, it only reduces it. How bad is that recovery penalty? Ten. Really, you have to get that up to master to eliminate that? That's gross. The hell, man. It's the same for all the armor types. Okay, what do I want to level here? With our knight. That depends me thinking about what weapon I want to use. I think since I'm going to have a spear user, I'll just go ahead and uh, have the, uh, the knight wield some swords. Act people apart. Rend them asunder. As one does. I gave him shield, but uh, when he gets the master sword, he'll just be dual wielding swords. You, I don't even have a suitable spear for you right now, so I'm loaded to do that. I also want to pick up earth magic. Yeah, too, but we don't have that on tap. There is a, someone who can teach you chain in town. There's also someone who can teach you bow in town, Mr. Archer. But we don't have the money on hand. It's locked in our bank. We can't reach. We're just got to earn money here. It's awkward. I was, you know, it doesn't matter. I guess. Let's grab that body magic. I don't know about mind. Our axe is decent. I don't remember. Thinking intensifies. I wouldn't mind you knowing bodybuilding. Not open to us. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick up sword. There is a sword expert teacher here. We just can't afford the price. We'll ready that. The other points, maybe a preparatory, like, merchant? I mean, you are an archer. It would make sense. Sure, what the hell. We're roleplay. Hold on to these points, you spent yours. Hold on to those remaining seven points for the kids. Right, so I can't afford any of these trainers. It's worth noting, though, that the timetable reset. It's now back to 9 a.m. That's the power of Home Depot. Probably lost in sweet water to the devils. Or Faligar rescued them. Alright, let's go deal with these enemies that are just lurking right here on the fucking path. You know, just ready to swarm over and take over everything in the universe. It's the power of Ba. Oh. You're done with my shit now? You're too fucking bad. I really like seeing those bodies explode. 
That's satisfying. It's something I brought up a few times while uh, playing Might Magic 7. Like, not just like the hordes of enemies, but how satisfying it could be to eviscerate all those enemies. Yeah, I see you, Mystic. Shaking that ass. You know what I miss? I miss regeneration. Got that one. Got that one. Get over here. We've cleared that road that's threatening to, like, overwhelm the castle. Praise the scholars. Well, we still appear to be in pretty decent shape, too. Doesn't take a whole lot out of us to fight those enemies. At least in, like, areas where we can dodge. Which is nice. I don't need to go back to the temple. We have staying power. I almost have enough money to train a thing. Again. Ten, 9,000 gold in the bank. How dare I put that money there. What a fool I was. We got some action over here. There goes the buffs. Come out here. I see you. Mm -hmm. Look at all those brain suckers floating around that island. Oh, I mean, they, they pay zero interest. We were told that earlier. I, I don't know about you, but I make more than zero interest for my savings. See how terrible these dragoons are. I don't remember. Uh, where are we? A club? Oh yeah, this dungeon! Shit, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, we're fucked. Okay. We're getting stabbed to death. It's gonna be great. Okay. Mm-hmm. Try that again. They're fully healed. But you know it's terrible for me. With my sparks. I, it would be nicer if the, the, the spread of the sparks was, was smaller. That's okay, I'm used to treating it like a shotgun anyway in 7. 
There we go. That took a lot out of me to clear. Damn it, I got done. It seriously did take a lot out of me. <laughs> Renewing Bless and Heroism also has a price tag. Okay, so I cleared a room-ish. That's what I accomplished in here. Ish. Well, I reach those guys. Take this helmet. Let's actually put that on you. Put that on you. A lot of little doors full of murder. Nah. All right. What am I training? Will I go back to go back to town. I think it's gonna be bow expert. Cause I'm doing a lot of range combat anyway. I mean, I can just sleep there. I have 24 food. I can walk outside and sleep on the grass. I only use one food instead of two. Consumes eight in-game hours, but I'm not, like, this isn't a run where I'm caring about score. If only I just went to grab Lloyd's Beacon. Ugh. How, are ya? How dare I not just rocket to, to a, a new area. Okay place where I probably have a bank. Looking Why the hell isn't there a bank down here? <laughs> Mildly infuriated. Find and return Prince Nikolai to Castle Iron Fist is now a new objective of ours. No, but Inroth was doing great. But we got snatched. May we be of service. Live long and prosper. Alright. Future healing trips, we're just going to take a nap. This is too far for me to walk back. I'm also not bothering to heal my spell points after I renew my buffs. Because I don't want to cast them now. Look at Marilyn over here. That expression, it says a lot, huh? <laughs> How long till Town Portal be? It'll be a while, because I'm going to be in Castle Iron Fist, this map, for, like, the rest of the broadcast. I'm not really rocketing between areas, I'm just staying put. And, uh, you can't buy Town Portal here. But, uh, I could learn that spell as I could any other. And cast that. Don't have to get, like, a certain level of expertise. That's nice. Let's go. Sparks? Sparks. That brigand, that's a pain in the ass. So much health. Okay. It's the wizard eye. I think telekinesis in Might Magic 6 also does it. Yeah. I'm just glad you didn't die from that hit. I drop a decent amount of gold those enemies do. They just have a lot of hit points. 
I may also uh, start engaging in more potion crafting. Oh. Oh. It worked. Success. It worked. It worked. It worked. Success. Success. Perfect. Haste potions. There we go. That's not a blank potion to inflate by stats. How's the recovery times looking? That's not terrible. He said respectable numbers. Six hours of that. Let's get, let's get on with it, I guess. The door won't budge. Hmm. We'll be back later for it, maybe. Hi, enemies. Aha. Another pirate cutlass. Those are pretty nice. Ow. I'm glad you turned the corner, Grimace. Are you ready to get fucked? My magic six for you. These narrow, cramped dungeons are just hell like that. I think this room ahead is like a dead-end prison room, or I might be thinking of a different dungeon in Might and Magic 6. Hi. 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 Good they didn't knock my conscious. There went four of my beautiful uh, potion vials there. Oh, that's Raiden Chat out there. I miss regeneration. Ah, fuck. You're still up. No. Go to bed. Hey. You watch it in there. Mm-hmm. Switches. What can they do? Endurance plus 17. Huh. Okay. I mean, I could give it to you. Kind of overkill on you. Gives you 12 HP. That gives you 18. That gives you 12. It's also give you 12? Yeah. Yeah, doing it is. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Welcome in to Dragoons. We'll flip both of those. I didn't hear anything happen with that second one, but damn it, we'll flip it. Do, 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 do. That definitely opened. 
Or, uh... Damn, that expired, huh? I don't have an interest in the Shadowgate remake. I've seen it played. Watched a broadcaster on Beam play it. It's whatever. Cool. I got another game that was like that. It's called Shadowgate. You may have heard of... How do I do these orange and purples? Hold it big. Some more spell points for Serena, maybe? And we can get some extra mileage out of, uh... Six years... Six years? Yes. The six years of haste. I think so. Translates to a lot of extra healing. Two versus five for that. Heals 13. Ah, yes, this elevator that immediately and instantly leads to being punished. I love being punished. Hi, Brigand. Missed with those, huh? Alright, time out. Time in. Awkward. Can't have the cleric going down. Death would basically necessitate me walking back to the temple. Alright, that pass sucks for now. I could jump off. Oh, wait. I'm also going the wrong way. Any opinion on that patch? It's sizable. There is certainly a, the content of three video games a little bit of extra. It's been in development for a few years, and I have uh, seen it at work. Oh, that's bad. That was so bad. My ass scooted right off that ramp and onto their fucking heads. <laughs> Fuck! <sighs> and naturally, they can stab me when I'm standing on their head. It's fair and reasonable. Let's... Guess who's not sleeping outside in the grass? Guess who's walking back to the temple anyway? I mean, Daggerfall is a dungeon-crawling role-playing game, and there were certainly quite a few dungeon-crawling role-playing games in the 70s, and 80s, and early 90s. Might Magic games certainly do have some dungeon-crawling. More about uh, high-fantasy science fiction adventures. How bad is this price tag going to be? Four hundred gold. May we be of service? Okay. Live long and prosper. Sizable chunk of my profit. That's just how uh, vicious all those damn like brigands and thieves are. The dragoons. I did make mention when I walked in there, like, oh, we're fucked. It's this dungeon. Those prices escalate. Well, they are super cheap on GOG right now, courtesy of GOG's... out now. 
some fucking jerk-off sale CD Projekt Red throws in your fucking eyes to make you forget about all the other things they've done as a game dev in recent years. Not just a game dev, but a digital distribution platform. Okay, so, time out here. We need to, we need to have a conversation, because now I'm just thinking about this, and this, this won't derail our broadcast for very long, but this is going to be a, a feature. Just, uh, just give me a moment here. Just, just give me a, a, just give me a little, little skinny minute. Gotta make sure I, I find the game so that's properly registered and represented. I wouldn't want to be, like, hmm, did they remove those? No, they couldn't have. So it was a couple years back. Uh, one of the new hitmans. That one of the new hitmen had been pushed onto GOG. And I took a screenshot of it and I shared it with my friend Lethal on his Discord server, howling, Why buy on GOG? DRM free. Game literally contains, <laughs> like, DRM. And it's like, what the hell do you mean it's DRM free? But I can't find the video game. Did they? Did they maybe... Could they have? Would they have? My goodness. What a time to be alive. Ah, shit. <laughs> How much would I pay for a resurrection? Eh, it depends on the market economy, you know? Back machine it. I'm broadcasting right there. All right, let's go back to getting fucked. I'm glad you relocated up here instead of fleeing in terror from me. Oof, that attack speed. Stop that. All right, so this sucked. My official ruling, it sucked. Yes. Losing all that gold was not fun. Accidentally crowd surfing on the glass. I'm trying to find a sweet spot to stand where I can, like, hit them, but they don't bully me. And it's not coming. So we'll just fall down here. Bully me now. They are. Better than me getting crowd surfed to death. Oh, we got the goods now. I need healing. You do. You 100% do. Stop attacking me through that. You damn cheater. All right. That's good research. Almost like the video game being there was antithetical to. But then again, you know, policies and attitudes change, but just it was the the irony of seeing that right next to DRM free always when you come here to this website. Lol. God. Yes. I too am an individual of culture. Shimmy? Nothing here but us chickens. No teleporting enemies or anything, honest engines, we swear. Okay. Damn narrow passageways. Full of like rooms jam packed full of people who will stab me to death. What the? Are you sure there's nothing there? Okay. Hi. Now would be an excellent time to be. Oh, 
Oh, damn, buffs just expired. Time out. I said time out! Respect. Respect the time out. Told you to respect the time out. So how, like... Those new hitmans, those new hitmen work, is, uh... There's an online attachment associated. No. One hour plus five minutes per point of skill. Wouldn't want you to be too dependent. We good in here now? Oh, hey! Hey, bud! Yeah! You can have that. That's for you. It's a teleporter again? No, it's a switch. Motherfucker. <laughs> These damn dungeons. Don't worry, those guys come in multiple varieties, too. Hey. How's it? How you doing? Y'all got one of them there brigands with you? That means I'm fucking out of here. Oh, of course. It's... Oh, it's a switchback. They couldn't possibly follow you around the switchback, Grimma. You need to die now. Did not mean to shoot there. I like the frowny face the sorcerer makes. Can't oh. help you. Can't help you. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do for you. There's nothing I can do for you. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. I've repaired it. Of course you have! Well, you actually have a repair item skill of one! Aha! Uh -huh. Genius. Damn, it feels good to be good. Eh? Eh? <laughs> Oh, one of them made the turd. Not dead yet. Now dead. Hope you aren't tired of fighting like thieves and brigands and ruffians, because there's more. I don't just mean it, this dungeon. Got it! There's our flute. Sorry, what did I get there? I found like a thousand gold or something. I found prizes, money. Good. I would buy to that too quick. Alright, well. We found what we actually came in here for. I think the rest of this is just... Gravy on what an optional quest already is. Net profit. Spite of death. We're out of, uh... Out of the goods again. Oh yeah, our haste is about to expire too. And now the haste is gone. Enemies? 
barrel blue liquid, that's personality. Plus one. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> King of the club family. If this weapon had a knob or ball in the end, it would be a mace. So if it's a real craftsmanship in this club, you see no true identifying marks that would indicate who created it. What a club. What a club. Yeah, what a, what a, what a beast of a club. Yep. Anyway, our party's really fucking tired now. Would you believe it? We're going outside, we're having a snooze. Do, 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 do. We won't be hasted anymore, which was really nice. I really enjoyed being hasted. We can level up again. Still haven't uh, decided where to spend these seven skill points on these three kids. Hmm. 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 I think I want to go merchant with you. You. Probably saving that for Earth. You. Maybe mine? I might grab chain since I'm here. I don't know. I to keep uh, planning with money that I don't have with me because it's in the bank. Let's get. I'm going to bed now. Good night. Rise and shine. Do 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 do. Waha! <laughs> what, what do you mean that do I have to flip the switch again? Uh... Let's go handle business down there. We'll save this again, Dragoons. You! Blast me. Heroism thing. Alright. Let's go! Oh. Oh shit. <laughs> Some really nice not being hit. It was refreshing. I too enjoy the refreshing taste of not being hit. Oh boy, these odd rooms. Hey, friends. Bye bye. Oh, what's that? The the odd shape of the room prevents you from leaving to come murder me? So you just stay in there and fucking murder me instead? Good. I love that story. I actually got hit. My goodness. Hadn't been a whole lot of that. Excuse me. You dare. You not dare. Got it. Oh, what a hat. What a fucking hat. Aha. Uh -huh. A fancy hat. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Paladin uh -huh. gauntlets, enchanted leather, uh -huh. small steel shield. Okay. You get that. It definitely increases your recovery time. Take these gauntlets and be down. Fancy hat. Oh man, what's what's better to wear? This. Oh, we. We don't... Oh. Oh, well. Well, we'll just sell it, I guess. I'm, I'm vibrating. The character's just bouncing here. My character? My entire party. The sun is rising. 
You know what? Just for... Yes! Okay. <laughs> Continue. I did not need to open up a magical fusillade upon you. Hi! You deserve a magical fusillade. Ah! <laughs> oh, our foe is stuck. That's a soldier right there, baby. from the Shadow Guild. Hmm. Damien, congratulations on your new assignment. The Shadow Guild wants you to ambush caravans passing from New Sorbical to Iron Fist or Free Haven. Under no circumstances are you to divulge that you have any connection to us. If the deal is off and you will find out what happens to those who betray us. Do as you are told and there won't be any problems. The Prince of Thieves. <sighs> Plus two armor class. Uh -huh. And a halberd. We'll keep that out of... Jao Dune's hands. That pirate cutlass is pretty nice. Plus two armor class? Oh, I should be the person who has nine armor class, yep. Stands a reason. We could buttress that up by shimming around our armor class buffing things a bit more so that our person with the most HP didn't have the most armor class, but we're leaving it as it is. It's a good chest. Very rewarding. Hi. Help. Hi. Thought there was just gonna be enemies on the the other side. Well, this is awkward. You got damaged a lot. It's gonna be slow healing your ass up. Right. That would be why I hesitated there. There was there's not a fucking recipe for that. That's what happens if uh you use potions irresponsibly, chat room. Good news, she's not dead. <laughs> yes, there we are. Her dying there would have been... ...complicated. Heal her up. So eight hit points. My buff just expired. The heroism's there. It busts melee combat, but you know, melee combat's happen. A lot of enemies in here. No! <laughs> when they all just pile in the doorway like that, it's fucking gross. I should be using the spell points on the sorcerer. All right. Okie dokie. Good argument to use the spell points on the sorcerer. Oh. Hold the button down. This music. 
do 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 Like the evil Bob music. That wasn't evil, Griffith. It was just misunderstood. Oops. Again, you never need to enter this place. Don't have to be here. Like the abandoned Temple of Ba. You don't have to be there. Goblin Watch? I don't think you have to go on there at any point. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't think it's required. There's just so many places that you never need to be in here, and you go in them, and it's like, holy fuck, this place is immense! Well, these guys are stuck. I don't need to poo. They're still thin of them. Hi there, Manica. Manakai awake early before he parties. Jonas. Total War Warhammer on tap. A couple hours. Heck, let's go. I need to leave now. Goodbye. Just out here playing Might and Magic 6, the Mandate of Heaven. I haven't played in 18 years. Big chasms. I just want to make sure that all the enemies are down there in the kit. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is that cold beam hitting for so little? They must resist that. Oh, shit. It doesn't scale up. Oh, God. Same with thing with static charge. It doesn't scale. All right. That explains a lot. I, I just assumed those scaled. I've right mouse buttoned over those spells and was like, that's got a scale. And I've been like reflecting on, man, these, these spells aren't dealing a whole lot of damage, huh? Well, that would be why. They always hit. That's not a whole lot of damage at this point. We good now? Is it just all enemies in the chasm? It is. What a, what a thin bridge that is. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> no problems there, boss. I don't know what that did. Kind of reluctant to leave the dungeon because I probably have to do it again. Those are ranged attackers. Like Naga or some kind, I can't see down there effectively. Sparks is definitely the way to go. I mean, I knew the power of Sparks coming into this. Utilize that turn-based mode. There's an ooze down there? There are oozes down there. Oh, well. Got a little greedy with her being such low HP. Let's go heal again. Another 300 gold. Sent to heaven. How will I afford to train anymore at this point? Hi there. Uh, you know... I'm well enough to be broadcasting. Grab that to sell. Quickly. Out here milling about in Mike Magic 6. Wow! The map system in this video game is really strong. Albeit not the 3D mapping. I can see why that would be a draw, yeah. Okay. Anything wanted to grab while it was right here? No. Let's just go ahead and fix that. Good as new. We should give you this. This is better. Hand it to her corpse. It's fine. She will be missed. And we never saw her again. <laughs> Walk her asses back up. 
here. Excuse me, pardon me. Fragile sorcerer being carried. Dead sorcerer being carried. Still fragile. Going through. Doop -a -doop 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 -doop. Low permadeath run? Okay. May we be of service? 450 gold! Oh. Live long and prosper. I think it's because of the higher level. Being exploited. I did train. See anything you like? What you got for me over here? Got any like hot dams? You got a black potion. Reduce all magical aging effects and subtracts one from all seven primary statistics. Couple green potions. I'll pick those up, I reckon. Thank. You can have. It's not empty potion vials. What are we doing here for our, our stores? Because we did have those a uh, couple months of training. Mass fear? Your paralysis, we already bought that. All this other stuff. I mean, eh. Well. Spirit. You. Magic of life. Heroism, heroism, guardian angel, right, guardian angel. And it, yeah, about that. And this healing touch, which doesn't scale. Okay. Body, the magic of healing. Body? Protection from poison? You know, we could use that collectively as a family, I guess. I'm willing to buy that. Okay. Do I want to... How do I feel here about selling this stuff? Do I want to grab a merchant? I don't need to sell now. Spirit, the magic of life. Well, uh... This video game comes with a limited edition, which isn't that fucking limited. Like, it comes with all... You buy this off of GOG, and the burn CD I got back in the 90s... CDs, I come with one through six on them. All the flavors. Finest armor in the land. Yeah, like I said, I wanted to wait. I want to buy, like, a suit of plate. Nice fancy helmet. What you got here that's special? Right, you still have the dragon leather immunity. Nice hat. Plus eight hit points. You know, plus eight hit points. Finest weapons in the Greetings! Greetings! Here we go. Expert swordsmanship. Yes. Yes! Guy Hampton and Blackshire taught me everything I know about the sword. If you're looking to Master Blade, he's the one to train other. Finest weapons in the That's who I wanted to see. Great. You walk here on the castle walls that aren't being manned at all. Boy, it would be really useful if there were, like, archers up here that were shooting down at the enemies that I slew down here. That'd be really swell, huh? Some weird, like, dirt spike. <laughs> the sword and the stone. Just outside Castle Iron Fist. You'd think, like, some of this stuff would have gotten... Picked up or looted in the succession war. And y'all have a titan or something? Come on. Not too much to ask. What do I know about video games, right? I just play them. Or a Ville looking around here like, what the hell is this shit, man? Do they know how to do anything right over here? Anyway. Greetings! Here. This is a musical instrument, but it's not a harp. Let me explain the difference. You brought back a flute. A flute is a pipe with holes in it. A harp has strings. Does that help? I'm sure they still have the harp, and I will reward you all for its return. There. I wanted to share that dialogue off. Ready to it's learn beautiful. Something new. <laughs> it's like, well, I mean, yeah, but also no. The merchandise. I said harp. I would hate to harp on it, but, you know. Throw that out there. Maybe... Maybe you're a bit slow. Let's 
Let's go back to Dragoo now. Flip 17 more switches. Here in Dragoon Hill. With the oozes. That are physical immune. Here in Dragoon Hill. Both my hirelings aren't taking any shit. Here in Dragoon Hill. Do 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 do. Okay. Alright. So. Uh huh. This over yonder. That is our next quest. You know, yonder. The nebulous period of time. Yonder. As everyone knows. I appreciate... See, you can see, uh... My fine fellow over there looking up and down as I look up and down. That's good content. Alright, down we go. Everything good down here? Sure, my kidding. Hey, oozes! So, we can't melee these things. We can only spell these things. I forget how, like, tough they are. That's not good. So, the only one who's effective here is the sorcerer, because the archer has no... Spell points. She also has a dagger that she could stab th them with to deal damage, but no one else can equip daggers. Ow, oh, fuck, the users broke his blade. Alright, I might just load the auto save here. Let me let me just have another peek down here and see how many fucking more oozes there are. Okay. Good. Good, I hate it. It's the worst. If his harp's down there, I don't know how the hell it hasn't been eaten. Words of wisdom to live by. It's asking a lot for this party composition. than Ivan. You're the one who slew our sorcerer. Wanna come in here? Got sparks? Got sparks? Eh? You wanna go to spark? Or won't budge? Oh, fuck me. Maybe I had to flip this switch again? That's not harrowing. Don't fuck that up. No, falling down there would be, uh... Yeah. Not... not the viewers. There's only six glasses anyway. Hi! Another one of these fucking elevators? Ugh. This dungeon. Here, have this elevator that goes down into hell. 
Look, we call it the Hellevator. Ha 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 ha. Right, Camping me again with this shit. Alright. Alright, you remember seeing this exact same room earlier? Yes. Different enemy composition, though. That was nice. Enjoyed that. You know, maybe it wasn't so bad after all. My, char my characters are vibrating again. Hey. Burn our backs. Thank you, Sparks. Ah. Speed plus three. Um. Okay. Good. 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 us to our sewer land or a bridge over the sewer land hmm. okay um I like sevens more these have their own charm to them No, the question was about character portraits, not Arco Mage. the damage got spread there. Got it. Ah. Mm. Trident? Or does activity as piracy? Adds 10 to primary statistics temporarily. Got it. Aha. Ah. Uh -huh. Armor class plus 8. Hmm. That would make that superior, for sure. So you take that. And you take this. You know what I enjoy? If my inventory is full with someone, it just selects the person. I don't have to hear the, you're gonna have to make room, sorry I can't care anymore, you're gonna have to make room. That aggravates me. Excuse me? <laughs> Startled me. Double door. This seems significant. Grimith looks through the cracks there. Hello, Fatterin. We need to run now. Hi, how you doing? Sorry, how much damage did we do to you? Yeah, you're a veteran. Probably survived the succession wars. 
This happened so recently. It's like a mercenary of some kind. Oh boy. I don't want to fight you in melee. We got our work cut out for us. I'm... Okay, you found your way through. Help! <laughs> yeah, it sucked. It's gonna hurt. What if I just dip? Just fucking dip and like... Around him. All right, someone else took the hit. That's fine. We have, like, a, a scary person over here on this side. At least it's not that veteran. Our knight there actually threatened to go down. Conditions except debtor stone. We'll uh we'll keep that on tap. That way I can empty out some uh, potion vials here. It worked. You can have that. Pray faces patches them up. You know that veteran actually did a pretty good job of catching back up with me. I wanna mix anything in with this stuff. Or a tilt his head. Uncertain. Make a haste potion. How about we give ourselves Grimoth, you ate the fucking... You just ate the the root. <laughs> Forgot you could do that. <laughs> just nommed on the herb for two spell points. Okay. Okay. Damn it. Damn it. What broke? The bow? Gross. Well, that's fucking awkward. If I rest in here, that, that vet's gonna be healing up the full HP. Guess the vet's healing up the full HP. I'm just gonna dip. Ah. Oh. I can't even find a safe spot to sleep because I'm too near all these oozes. What if I go all the way over here? I don't have to leave the dungeon completely. Guess they're not dead. Even if I have to refight that vet from scratch. Just content myself with that. They're wielding this next time. Let's Fucker. Get in there. Aha! So much for those potions.
Stupid veteran. Stupid dungeon I knew was gonna whip my ass and I like, came in here anyway. I'm just following the direction of the quests I was given in town. Brr. Don't know why I chose to sound like that. Veterans reset to his default location. That's what monsters do when you transition zones. You are neither. I did not mean to pass her. Start using the wand, juice. That do no damage. Right, it's not a it can miss. It's allowed to miss. Hi. Of course. And of course, he couldn't find his way through. For the sole express purpose of pissing me off. that either. Just instantly go. I wonder if they... No, he doesn't have, like, a priority targeted thing. Yeah. You know, I can't say I remember this game well enough to know that for sure. Yeah. Some enemies have priority targeting throughout the games. Classes. Yeah. 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 There's no race in this one. Yeah. As this game does binary genders, uh, men, women. Yeah. There we go. 117 gold. 37 charges left in the Wand of Flame. Cool. Can you break the early game by judicious... Let me, let me just erase the rest of your question. Can you break the early... You can break the video game. Aha. I, uh, gave directions for how that could be accomplished. A new sword. Aha. Oh, a leather belt. Wow, what a treasure. God help me. We're throwing out a save. Mm -hmm. No. Right, there you go. Don't know whether there's a guide for these teleporting chests like elsewhere in the dungeon that I have skipped or overlooked. But, uh, we're not dealing with this shit. This one's just nothing but a time sink to walk back here. And, uh, I'm not here for it. No thanks. Waste my time. Waste viewers' time. Takes you to loot that you may not have gotten. There's our harp. Aha. Aha. That right here, if this is just trial and error, that's not good to say. Well, there's certainly been plenty of design like that in video games. Anyway, there's the harp. We can ignore the oozes, we just had to get through that veteran. This dungeon, as far as I'm concerned, is done. Although we do have this path. Oh boy. 
I'm helping. Resistance, uh -huh. might plus seven. Oh, Ho! Ho! okay. Uh -huh. Might plus four. Uh -huh. Other armor. All right, we're we're loaded with goodies. That's more money for us. Yay! We can use that to pay exorbitant training fees. They're not that bad right now. They get worse. Do you think I the accuracy more? I think I do. You can have this, Mike. The elect resistance? I don't think I'm going to bother enough to put that on. Mike plus four hat? I guess that could be yours, too. You can get that. You can keep your laurels. Your laurel reef. Okay. Can't help you. Alright, it's fine. Now we can actually hoof it back out. What time of day is it 11? Okay. Time we get back to Castle Iron Fist. We can get a recharge at the temple. Um, I can then proceed elsewhere on the map. So that's the only quest we got right... No, it's not. It's not. Alright, fine. Anyway, here was the Dragoon's Caverns. This took a while to clear. You know, we're roughly at par with the expected level and power. Perhaps a bit under. Certainly not overpowered for this. Let's... Instead of just hopping from zone to zone, picking up easy power, I'm staying in these areas and plodding along. Hey, I brought back the correct instrument. It does tickle me, though, that you're able to find a different instrument in there, and you can actually take it back to him, and he says something about it. That's a good, that's a good charm bit. The game. Greetings. My gratitude. My wife loves this harp. I'm so glad you're able to recover it. Here, take this as a reward. I've heard rumors of the dragoons were working the Shadow Guild. That's the case. I'm sure the mayor of New Sorbergal would love to see proof of it. Thank you again for your assistance. Yes, we do have proof. Orders from the Shadow Guild. We do possess this. Uh, I think I'll just go sleep in a tavern. So I want to pick up a merchant. I would have to drop... Scholar or the Banker. Scholar... Probably easier to pick up than the Banker is. Around these parts. Merchant or a duper, that way I can sell the stuff. They're at the inventory. Be ready for uh, more dungeon diving. Yep, we got more gold on hand than what we do have in the bank. Huzzah! We can't put this in the bank. There ain't no bank here. Yeah, I think I would prefer waiting to sell this until I had a duper. Or a merchant. Not too picky. Couple of nice masters around here. Two Windmasters, a Bard. It's gonna be my time to fly around. Hello, come on Our parties are in a good night's sleep. For 33 gold, that, that price escalates quickly. <laughs> Give me a room, Bard. Keep. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. Um, I don't recall to what extent uh, reputation does affect prices. I believe so. But I couldn't swear to it gun to my head. 
you know, everyone's favorite game, Gun to Your Head? You know. Gun to Your Head, right? Right. What's our XP at? Hell, we can train up to nine now. That's good stuff. I might as damn well. Another Windmaster? There's a merchant. Yeah, I'm cool with a merchant. I don't need a duper. It'd result in a bit extra cash overall, especially if I had a merchant and a duper, but... Eh. Hi. Farewell, Orville. We will not be able to pick him back up until we head back to New Serpical. Do-do-do-do. Uh, yeah. I think I'm cool with that. The land of Inroth, the shades of black and white, has special magical significance. If an item or a potion is colored white, it usually means that it provides a powerful, beneficial effect without any sort of negative side effect. If it's black, it provides the most powerful effects with some sort of unpleasant side effect. Be careful out there. Alright. Farewell, Orville. You know, she might not join. Greetings. Me. Well, Leanne at your service. Cool. Greetings and salutations. Greetings and salutations. point bonus. We're in. Alright, let me sift through this to see whether there's anything I want to keep that I have it like, equipped for whatever fucking reason. That halberd? No, it doesn't have it. I have to hit bonus. I like to hit bonuses on these weapons, given our current accuracy score. Like, want to put a suit of chainmail on this lady? You know? Like that? Put that on? Yeah, it seems feasible. Okay. Just sell it up here? Yeah, just sell it up here. Yeah, the club's worth one. We can see that's worth one. Everyone knows it's worth one. My friends know it's worth one. Your friends know it's worth one. It's worth one. Uh, something else I want to do is repair my weapons while I'm here. Pricey to repair that mage dagger. Cool. Try not to have that break too many more times. We'll see what we can manage. This is real adventure shit right here. Just hauling all this random esoteric bullshit with you back to town. Look at how much stuff we can fit in our inventory. Just how, like, trim the armor is. It's really nice. Finest armor in the land. Well, let me sell you the not finest armor in the land, sir. Including this fancy fucking hat and this almighty crown. Finest armor in the land. Cool. What you got on tap? Uh, still the same stuff, right? That would definitely change uh, if I trained. Uh, da -da 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 -da. The ring. Just pop it on. It's relatively meaningless, but damn it, pop it on anyway. A little bit of resistance. We train now. I don't see why not. Looking to train. I am. Well done. Well done. Well done. Now February. Okay. There are more points for us to spend indeed. We got gold to spend, so let's go ahead and take care of that. Uh, I'm still committed to doing magic shit. The sorcerer will not get distracted. Oh shit, I accidentally resized the window. Uh. Let me wait out and have that resized. I accidentally clicked on the edge.
Yeah, that's good. I could disable that function to, like, be able to resize like that in the I and I. I haven't. Okay. I want you to eventually wear plate. For the time being, let's grab that. Uh, and yeah, you are, like, I want you to beat up shit, but you're also, like, handling all my miscellaneous skills. While everyone else indulges in spellery. You know, spellery. I wouldn't mind getting a repair item. It's not really a priority for me, though. One plate. I could just prepare that in advance for when I have a suit of plate to wear. I could also grab bow, since I'm here. Since I'm here, he says. See the world, he says. Now let's have a singular focus. Do that. Uh, they're definitely horseshoes. We've made use out of those. Genie lamps? Uh, 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 that's my answer. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my answer. Music seems quieter. Huh? It's the same volume level. Hello. Hi. What do you want? All right. Only train those sanctioned by Lord Stone as high priest in the mastery. We have to perform various tasks for the uh, various lords in order to uh, secure some of these promotions. They won't just give it all to us freely. It's bullshit, I know. that with you. What's up here? There's a couple of trainers. I cannot remember. Oh, right. The library's up here, too. Greetings. Hello. We could learn how to learn from you as well. I'd love to sell the oceans on a big ship. I could travel to all the islands and just be free of school and chores of my parents. That'd be wonderful. Wilbert Humphrey. Wilbert is so scared that something will happen to the Nikolai the Prince that he's not been allowed to leave the castle in months. Gee, I can't imagine why not if that teleporter leads to pain and suffering. Yeah, hmm. Greetings. Hi, expert diplomacy. Diplomacy is a skill in this game. And what it does is uh, helps to modify your perceived reputation uh, one direction or another so that you can have a chat with people. Who care about that sort of thing. And here's the library. When I saw this as a kid, I thought it was so cool. Just walk in here. And I'm like, That's him! That's the portrait! That's the dude! Oh my god! There's a crossover! Ah! Ah! Storage Bolt Iron Fist. Heroes of Might Magic 2. That's where we are, by the way, in Raw. Also featuring in Heroes of Might Magic 1. Which, uh... The Iron Fist ancestor reached by traveling through a strange portal. You know, I do wonder how all this shit would be happening in Roth if, uh... Archibald were king. Better? Worse? And could you be doing better? Could you be doing worse than, uh... How the fam's currently doing? Catherine's been lured away to stay in Arathia. Roland's been snatched by devils. 
Just, uh, you know, just, just saying. Not saying, I'm just, you know, saying. All right, we need to pick up another scholar. I do like carrying scholars around. They don't even have to fuss with identify magic bullshit. It's really convenient. I'm willing to pay the uh, the the price of a follower slot. Windmaster is all fine and well, but we're just plodding along like normal adventures. We'll get to our fly spell and the stores soon. Scholar Taylor, please. I think it'd be better if I just save down there and then reload until I get a scholar to pop up out of the cosmos. Might as well. Farmer. Yipsy. Hello, farmer. Greetings and salutations. Like on the Smith. Best all around weapon shop in Enroth is Knight's Paradise, run by Eric Regent. Or small houses a little south of Castle Iron Fist. Yes, that's true. It's actually correct. Hello. <laughs> That's me. Hello. So never do wrong. Greetings and salutations. Hello. Okay. Dark door. An explorer. Let's go ahead and save the game here. Uh, we'll save it there at level nine. We'll load level nine. Oh, I got one of them, uh, scholars. I do like scholars. Counselor? What the hell does a counselor do? Greetings and salutations. Four point bonus to diplomacy skill, right? What's Hello? your portrait? Oh. Windmaster. Damn game wants me to fly now. Game's hooked on the idea of me flying. Subscribe. Hello. No skills to offer. Yes. Greetings and salutations. Take notes of disaster reports filtering in from around the kingdom. Then ask the Oracle for advice. Yes. Why hasn't Nikolai asked the Oracle for advice? Because Nikolai's not allowed to fucking go anywhere or do anything. And so he's run away to join the circus. Oh, we did end up finding another banker. Before we found a scholar. Well, don't that beat all. Fine. Explorer. Weapons master. Potter. Mystic. Counselor. Time to roll a die. You got it. Let's roll for a while. That's an 11. It's yours, my friend. Let me check the uh, request log, see if there hasn't been anyone I have missed. Nope. Last person who rolled was Derp Excessive, and uh, Derp Excessive got that VIP badge. What am I trying to do? Oh, I was trying to pluck a scholar out of the ether here. It's not that big of a deal, but I wanted to replace the scholar that I, uh, I chucked out by getting a merchant. That's all. It's a little bit time-consuming, but there's no, like, there's no scholar that I can just, like, recruit in a house here. Instructor? Just get the scholar a break and identify stuff later? Sure, Darlene will actually join the party. We'll do that. Bye. Greetings and salutations! Yeah, Darlene. Farewell, merchant. Come here. Hello! Quests aren't anything magical, they're simply opportunities to learn a great deal or to make a great deal of money. Try not to pass up the chances you get. Sure. I'll we'll just keep it moving. We are, uh, near seven hours into this broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> Instructor, uh, grants more experience points earned. Up as well, even though I don't really need it to beat up these uh, 
worshippers. Well, there are a couple of lizard men around here too. Uh, Got that one. This is the Temple of Bias. It sure is. Faint chanting can be heard from beyond the doors of this temple. Visitors do not appear to be welcome here. Look at how, look at how friendly this temple looks. Wouldn't you trust that? Um, so there is a, um, uh, I've got a key that does a, a quick battle thing. So if they're in melee range, they swipe at something that's in melee range. If they're not in melee range, they shoot at the closest thing in melee ra at, at range. Unless I'm pointing the mouse pointer at something. Uh, I also have quick cast spells uh, for them to quick cast something from their repertoire. Or I could manually open up the spell book. And cast something myself. So no, they're not auto-battling. I am controlling what it is that they fire. The lights down there go from green, yellow to red. Green means it's safe, there's no enemies nearby. Yellow means that there are enemies nearby. Red means that there are enemies right in your face. Unless the game is uh, printing out as like someone threw a wall in your face, it typically means you're in melee range. Health, spell points, active spells. There's other active spells over here. Our two followers. Any map. Go to the temple. It's Where are we? It's really fun in here, by the way. This is, uh... I think this is one of the the more memorable, like, early game dungeons in the video game. We have a Chime of Harmony to fetch from here. Let's go get a Chime of Harmony. All that music. As the winds blow, the seasons change, and only at the end of all can the doors be opened. Ugh. Case in point. Let's begin. I buffed a little too soon. Forgot that there wasn't anyone down there, over there to immediately greet you. Got a couple huge spiders. If you're unfamiliar with this game, you're able to swap freely between real-time and turn-based mode. There are advantages to both. It's a situational thing. I'm gonna keep my spell points for now. These enemies are kind of far. Something worth noting in this video game is that you cannot, you don't get like a little bit of backup space in turn-based strategy mode. In Might Magic 7, that operates different, where after sort of like a round, like a series of turns, you then are able to step a few steps. Uh, part of what like the advantage-disadvantage could be, I can end up being like the enemy's attack animations and how quickly they attack, your, how quickly your offensive output can be administered, whether they have any devastating range attacks that you want to dodge in real time. <laughs> These spiders are already much less uh, worrisome than they were uh, just a short time ago. There are far more spiders where that came from. I'd rather fight when they're like more focused in.
cure that. Like casting protection from poison wouldn't have been such a bad idea either, given all those spiders I saw down there. <laughs> So if I then promptly kill all the rest of the spiders on my case. So be it, right? Pick up all these bodies. Just need those standing around, you know? We have a couple of spiders left out there lurking around. Just a wall of wool. I hear ya. expired. We have rocks. We have burning rocks. Got a little campfire over there. Free food. We got a trash heap. Nothing there. A skull pile of death. Oh. Hmm. Guess I'm going back to town, huh? guy's gonna have plus one magic resistance permanently. Well, that's the first time G's died first. Skull piles of weakness. Easier than the skull pile of death, that's for fucking sure. Well, we failed all three searches. I guess. so much quicker or you know if I went to a different town and picked up a lawyer to begin but you know kind of forgot that the skull pile of death failed to search it could result in death first time my knight died before anyone else so there I was walking all the way back to fucking town and the gold prices are gonna be higher for revivals. We slew all those damn spiders. At least it reminded me that the plus 10 accuracy and speed wells are up here. Do 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 Got tired of looking, so I hired an instructor instead. You'll be with us for the rest of my... Get this shit identified later. Scholar provides unlimited item identification. Typically, you would need to have either identify item, or you would pay money for a store to identify those things for you. In addition, the Scholar provides a plus 5% bonus to all experience earned. Instructor has a plus 15% bonus. The banker, the instructor's right, uh, provides a net 10% bonus on all gold earned. 20% bonus on all gold found. Marilyn takes 10% of all gold you find. Then Marilyn takes 7%. Alright. From not the top, that was a good fun one. That was a real one. I enjoyed it. Big fan. Thanks. Great. Let's go kill more, I suppose. Get killed more. One of the two. What's a skull thing? That's a protection from poison spell that's active.
Here we go. Here we go. Skeleton, skeleton lords. This is what we're really after here. I said uh, outside New Sorpagal to the southeast hanging around Falagar, there's about 1,700 mages. Well, if that number is accurate, there's about 3,400 skeletons in this damn temple. Yes, this game is very enemy heavy. Got that one. Got that one. Look at all them dots. I'll zoom out so you can see even more dots. Skeletons, skeleton knights, huge spiders, giant spiders. Got that. Time out. She's down. I feed her that. Feed her another one. <laughs> don't, don't make that face. She's cursed. That's what that face is. Oh sh shit. Fuck. Do I not have a remove curse? That feels like something I would have picked up. Ah, no. Ah! Ah! Her spells fail now! Like a 50-50 coin flip of whether her shit fails? Ah! I gotta get the cure to the temple! I don't wanna go back to the temple! <laughs> so far! No. New plan. Feed her this restoration potion. Thank you. Good job, Griffith. I knew I could count on you. Keep that in mind if you want to melee with these damn skeletons in the future, Griffith. You cannot easily resolve those curses. Oh, that sucked. I didn't heal her up anymore. Okay. Fix that curse. Poison, excuse me. We went from picking on the sorcerer to picking on the damn cleric. I can't fight these guys in melee right now. No, it's the ledge. Slowly and efficiently fix this up. The hit point disparity between knight, archer, cleric, sorcerer, it's significant. Alright, it was fun to mix it up in melee. Actually get some use out of our, our knight. Well, that would be a spell that we don't have. Generation spell does not exist in this video. Game. Ah. 
dunking on de on dead. Or certainly spells that exist in multiple Might and Magic games, including this. Sparks operates a little differently, but like the mechanics of the sparks in this game. That's fine. The skeleton is booking it from me. Wants nothing with this. You know, can't blame him. Alright, you two kids got a plus one permanent magic resistance, so that's nice. Skull piles. We <laughs> just fucking ricocheted off of that. Let's save the game. Yay! Uh, a steaming brew. Yeah, makes sense. There, everyone gets one. G, you get all the rest. The only reason you didn't get those others is because you fucking died. Pure insanity. We don't have that. I'm not inclined to search for these damn skull heaps anymore unless I can resolve it. Search failed. I don't recall whether these skull piles actually yield anything. Other than bitter disappointment and the taste of fear. Skull pile of curses? I'm good. I'm not even sure like whether like these underground passages are necessary as opposed to the like the rooms with doors. You know, four seasons though. Just following instructions. Right? Just following ba orders. You know. Eric's out of juice now. Hi, friends. Hey, it's an Acolyte of Ba. We got spellcasters out here now. It's no longer easy street. as well. I was hoping I could finish that skeleton lord. I getting cursed again. Because I am so bereft of potion vials. I'd be tempted to just go to New World Computing, just so I can pick up 1,700 empty potion vials. Maybe not 1,700. Maybe 51. For whom the bar tolls, the sheep marches on. Ow. <laughs> just stop time in front of that. Good. Coming here? Yep, they're coming in here. Cool. Yeah, I'll do. Remains incredibly healthy. Hey, bud. Let's risk it. Got another. Do a lot of damage in melee. Give it to me. Baha. Don't 
Would you be throwing like a fist at me? I heard that smack against the wall. Damn priest of five there too. Alright, I'm low enough HP. I'm willing to... Willing to backpack... Backtrack here. Backpack? Yes. Willing to backpack. Actually, a green spot there. It wasn't near any enemies. Really? Not near any enemies here? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna charge them. Their, their gentle fucking strafing from side to side is not serving my interest. That's enough out of you kids. I'm coming for you. It's gonna happen. You hit points, sir. Farewell. Enjoy your rest. Foiled again. I hope you guys didn't think that was all of the fun we'd be having in here today. In the Temple of Bob. I don't just mean in this little room. I have such sights to show you. Weakness. One whole pile of weakness. Is that death? That's more weakness. All right. Let's go ahead and rub these cauldrons. It would be nicer if I had more emergency healing than just throwing herbs at my cleric. That'd be a circumstance where having the paladin instead of the, uh, the archer would pay off. Oh well. It's a good thing the music in here is so good. Wow. <laughs> no, the Might and Magic 7 stuff was able to work because I was far more familiar with that. Game. And frankly, there's just less shit in Might and Magic 7 than there is in this game. That was even with me not doing some shit at Might and Magic 7. There's a lot of shit in Might and Magic 6. The 
clean up the bodies. Hide the evidence. All these fucking tame spiders I have. You are not welcome here. Just forgot how, uh... How blah the healing is. That would be part of why self-magic is so blah, which I talked about in character creation. Another way elemental magic wins. Got another. You know, it's nice to see how far we've come in such a short time. Not that been that short of a time. Let's be let's be real here. Let's keep it real. <sighs> Ow! My face! You little bastards! You just wait until I serpentine my way over there. When I get my hands on you... You're gonna blow me up with point-blank magic. That's what I would do. Little bastards! Serpentine that well. No, I'm in crossfire now. Help! Alright, everyone's still conscious. <laughs> Alright. Man, if I had like a shared life to pour some of those hit points. Two people at one HP though, that's. That's news. Back to work. This time I'll get you for sure. Little bastards. What? Okay, that's just all the all the fire they've sent my way. We're hurting them. Like cattle. Yeah. Grimmeth, it's the priest of Bob. Why didn't you say? Yep. Yep. I don't know. All right, yeah, we don't have a sorcerer anymore. Not a sorcerer scholar, excuse me. Those guys suck in large vista that I can't. Uh, uh, let's look away from that. <laughs> That's that is. <laughs> I don't like it. Could have given everyone a little point of uh, electrical resistance, huh? Oh well. Everyone got a point of magic resist. Now everything else is going on G. Hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. Pardon me. Just... You, 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 you. <laughs> I'm leaving this room now. It's right. Ah. That's these four anti-chambers basement tunnels skeleton and spider warrens clear back to where we started whoop be right there you exit here last time we were in the uh, arena we fought peasants and cut purses that was back when we were level 3 oh boy here we go Look at how... We got a lot of work. 
The door is locked. The door is locked. The door is locked. The door gonna be locked too? It sure is. Is that gonna be the same for all the other sections? Do I need to fiddle around with that first? I don't recall. <laughs> I can. <laughs> oh, that time. <laughs> I think this is what the seasons are. Oh, man. Just. Fucking ate flame. That sucked. What would it feel like to lose 15% of your hit points in real life? This month. You know, getting some protection from storms might not be too bad. I'd have to go back to New Server Hole for that. Just, uh, just some food for thought. And I won't act upon, but you know, hey, that was a decent idea. Okay, you go ahead and hide that duck. What the fuck ever. I don't have... I don't have the wherewithal to give a fuck. It's time for up here. Uh, why is it this one? Why can't I... Why can't I have the fun one with the skeleton? Oh, finally, Zachalai! <laughs> it's not fun! I need to deal with that guy down there, then. I might need a place to rest. After this ass beating of the century. Come here, you son of a bitch. For wasting my time. There we go. Then they teleported in and now we're totally fucked. I need help. Not even bothering to heal. I could save this. Fuck it. Do do. It's my magic six, baby. Teleport enemies. Got that You'll rush the dais. You're ready to somehow deal with all those spellcasters. It's yours, my friend. <laughs> all right, let's exit. Shot my way. Strafing is awkward in this game. Be tedious, but they're gonna start fanning out to come get me. Can't 
Case in point, how much they've already fanned out. There is strafing. I hold down control. That's my strafe. That exists in my Magic 7 as well. That's, that's how good our strafe is. It doesn't do a lot. I'm gonna need you to die quicker. Just spend the rest of February sleeping in here. No, I don't have the spells for this. The juice. Near that enemy, Grimoth. Alright, you can shoot there, sure. This is just one of these rooms, too. We have others. <laughs> Read and chant, thought I was safe, my bad. It's on me. On the streamer. <laughs> Sorcerer has so many spell points. Oh well. This inefficient heal that I've got. What a sucky heal it is, too. Let me see if I can just open up this shit and then, uh, we'll be good. Oh, this is kinda... Okay. I remember how this went. I also didn't remember how this went. We got a key. Storeroom key. Oh, oh. Which room's the storeroom? Take my key! You won't take my key, chat room. That's the story. Oh, hey! You remember that whole lesson about teleporting enemies that just suddenly appear behind you? And you don't really, like, have any control of the situation, it just kind of happens? Yeah, that happened again. Help! <laughs> you know, that's reasonable. I saved here, huh? Before I even... Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Well, I should probably just snooze. Yep. Okay. Part of me is just pain, since... Hurts my score, and even though I'm not caring about that, I'm still like. Bruh, 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 bruh. But if I did care more about that, I would uh, be line this stuff more anyway instead of doing what I'm doing. All right. Bless. Well, that's a new one. They keep changing these names on me, so that my filter doesn't auto grab them. Got it. Good. I don't know. Right, we don't, don't identify know. things. I don't know. Bathhouse key. Skeleton. Got another one. That's not a bathhouse. Huh. <sighs> Now, of course, they won't walk into that. Those little bastards. What's that? You turned the corner. 
it's time for you to die. Don't make that sound. It's awkward. We're looking good. We're doing good. Good. Damn, people deal so much damage. My sorcerer is cursed now. Good. 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 <laughs> Alright, I don't think I'm finishing this dungeon before I'm done with this broadcast. I want you to walk out of this fucking dungeon now, Grimoth. Just walk out of this fucking dungeon. We're going to play somewhere else. Temple of Ba is, is mean. Smells bad. That's a seven. Just wanted to make sure that was a seven and not a one. Pretty similar on that die. How beautiful the scenery is, though. All like sun setting. Well, not sun setting, but it's evening. go anywhere on Saturday? No. Boats, do you go anywhere on Saturday? I don't remember the boat schedule at all. Have a gander. Welcome aboard! We knew so we're going Monday. Alright, that would take care of some things that I would want to do there, I suppose. Not really a whole lot left for me there, though. I got plenty of gold on hand. I, in theory, I would wait to go back there until I got the Chimpa Harmony, then I would hand all kinds of proof over. Also, wait until maybe the Shadow Guild hideout dive too, which is also here, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> oh! Down! Well, one argument would be that all I have are self magics here, no elemental magics. Right, we slept in there, and so our bell buffs would have worn out, or maybe I failed to grab them after tavern training again. We be of service. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper, yeah. You have some fucking nerve telling me that, considering where this teleporter goes, lady. I think we're gonna take a break from the temple, Ba. Could just fucking stay there. Gonna putter around the rest of this map. For long enough in this broadcast that, uh... I'm tired. Partly of playing this video game. <laughs> Which you might think would be an argument to stop. But I can't end on a sour note. Only that damn temple wasn't so far away. Ah! I could have checked stores. Maybe there's a uh, remove curse book in there or something. Oh well, it's closed now. Don't need to use blessing heroism for this. What are we doing here? Um. I wouldn't. That's my answer. I would.
Yes, I see you. You're getting every arrow through. Understood. Gotcha. Lizard wizard. What the hell did I, I took her spell off? That's the problem. Okay. Lizard wizard has a few hit points. Lizard wizard was not that rewarding. For as much ass as got kicked. And of course, all the lizard archers probably like, Scatter! He can't find us if we all just go over the terrain. <laughs> My kingdom for me just skipping all this shit until I grab dark magic. Fucking Armageddon all these enemies. Not strong enough to pull that stone. Pull that sword out of that stone. The sword won't budge. Look at that face. Oh. There. Showed those off a little. Would like to show those off more, but you know. Lizards. Just oh. haunting right outside Castle Iron Fist. It's right outside the fucking castle, right? Like, <laughs> how are things this bad here? Killing to happen quicker. So, armor, what's up there? How effectively do you think you can clear that room? I think better than the Temple of Ba. But. Strong argument for me to go other places than Castle Iron Fist. Grab some easy power laying around, get some other stuff done. I'm up here because. The stream is over? Is that why I'm up here? It's like when I come nuzzle this, just to show it off. It's another dungeon, by the way. I've been expecting no, you. it's not. That's the seer. This is February, the month of intellect. Journey to the shrine of intellect and pray there to be rewarded. Yeah, so there's monthly things. I lost it. Hint. I'd advise you to perform the promotion quest of the Six Lords of Enroth until you have advanced a little further. Now, we don't have a feather fall, so... You know, we're not as cool as the NPC enemies are. How they're able to slide down shit. Not taking any damage, but you know. We didn't do that. Anyway, that's the way to bootleg bay. I was pretty damn sure there was another dungeon entrance over here. Well, that just to show how much, how much like 18 years dead would do. Hmm. Well, I stand corrected. I fucking stand corrected. All right. Yep, you can see the the castle right up there. No, help me, guards, someone, anyone. Actually, a chest out here. Hold up. Oh, what the fuck ever. 
There's an enchanter who slid down. Got it. I don't know. Huh. Neat. Okay. I guess it's Bootleg Bay that I was thinking of that had that one dungeon. You know, Castle Iron Fist is not as jam-packed as I thought it was. Still plenty packed. Okay. Fucking Temple of Bob. Uh... Alright. The next time I play this... I can do about that. Well, I was thinking about lurking around here for another day, then playing around the arena again. Going to Bootleg Bay is fine. <sighs> I could grab a Gate Master. You don't actually have to have visited the towns before a gate master will work. Yeah. That'd be a quick way to grab some easy power. Actually visit some proper guilds with some more potent spells. I have a little bit of money. Can't go full ham on spell purchasing. I pull out the, uh, the books I got in... Uh, the, the coins I got in the bank. Find that with maybe a merchant and a duper. Hmm. Maybe. I don't know what I'll feel like next time. This, uh, the past hour has definitely been me wheezing out of energy here ever so slowly. And I can't, uh, skate to, uh, to glory as easy <laughs> as I can of Might Magic 7. Just don't know the game as well. And I have intentionally not done a bunch of skipping for power in this game. That's my Magic 6. If I never show off the video game again, if I never broadcast it anymore. That was that. Even in just, like, this short time here, in the first two zones, I think that's an effective demonstration of the... of the, um... the scope of the game, like, the depth of the video game. Obviously, there are tonal shifts in the story through the gameplay. Uh, but the dungeons get even more beast-like. And it's not a thing that, like, there's just tons more enemies and tons more dungeon space. Like, compared to Might Magic 7, like, this game definitely has, like, more content. Whether that ends up being more enjoyable to pursue... Just kind of depends on your gaming preference.